was only one possible outcome. My eternal damnation. I, Lazio, was to suffer the fate of traitors and weaklings, to burn forever in the bowels of the lake of the dead. Cast him in. Burning with white hot fire, I plunged into the depths of the abyss. Unspeakable pain, relentless agony. Time ceased to exist. Only this torture and a deepening hatred of the hypocrisy that damned me to this hell. An eternity passed, and my torment receded, bringing me back from the precipice of madness. The descent had destroyed me, and yet I lived.
girl. And what a mess. Wow, what happened? Walking down the aisle. Uh-huh. Tripped over Uncle Howard's boot. Mm. And then my dress went woo! And everybody laughed and said, oh, how cute. Remember, yes, ma'am, and thank you, please, and curtsy on your way out. What I need is a little freedom to see what life's about. I want to be grown up. Balls who wanna be grown up. It's time to check in on another g Foria exclusive. Onamusha 3 features the motion capture moves, the likeness, and the voice of actor Jean Reno. It includes dueling samurais from both the feudal and modern day Japan, and it's playable for the first time at g Foria. Here's a look at Onamusha 3. I know she's crazy. 
Pussy, pushy, kiss up by that cushy. Let's strip it down so we can do it to good will. Wants to be famous, so let's do it homely. Get me a towel, it's so wet and hide that cookie.
high tech. Outrageously fast, furious, and definitely high tech. RC cars are the low cost, accessible outlet for hundreds of ex racers who still itch to compete. And these machines, far from being fragile toys, are durable, thrashable ways to crash and burn and come up smiling every time. Whether you're out there running them or just thinking about it, RC Wheels is the truly radical way to indulge your need for speed, even if you're just standing still. to make use of both mirrors. What will he try? That even I don't know. Considering the legend associated with this mirror, undoubtedly there's a connection. I'm begging you, please take it over. My mind is made up. I must go. I will have my revenge. Perhaps find that mirror and then we'll talk. There must be some information here. This area has been getting rather dangerous recently. Would you like something to eat? I'll give it a try. Welcome back. Isn't it nice to know that you're welcome? I know I'm being smart today, so as a dose of relief, here's a nice tame segment on one of the better websites in existence. Nintendo fans, get ready. Welcome to www.nintendo.com. <laughs> I've seen, you know, lately, uh, some 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 of the travel artists like Dominic, really nice guy, uh, are wanting to do full-bodied avatar. Um, I, you know, I think he should have the ability to do so. But at the same time, I hate him. I hate him because it ruins the scale of the room. Uh, Travelers has always had these uh, these avatars that were like uh, heads. You know, and and so the the rooms were all again we were observing a scale to the rooms, 
And then when you introduce these full-bodied avatars, that changes the scale of the room. Uh, there are a lot of people who came in from Active Worlds or Blackton or something like that where they all had full-bodied avatars, and they thought that was a norm. Uh, and they'd, they'd come in here, and, and uh, of course, they'd, they'd pick those first. And, uh, and you'd have a bunch of people, you know, with full-bodied avatars, you know, flying around. Um, you know, it, it would take up more space than the average avatar. Uh, there would be a lot more incidents of ac accidental bonking and stuff like that going on as, as a natural result. Uh, you know, I like the work. Uh, I like the work that he's doing. He's done some really cool avatars, uh, like the hot dog you're wearing. But I don't like it when it really throws off the scale of the room. Um, I think that's rather intrusive. Absolutely, and they're not as expressive as, as the avatars we enjoy now. Uh, you know, I have a mouth that lip syncs when I speak. Uh, the, the, the avatars we use traditionally are very emotive, and they, they were designed to be that way from day one. The community is pretty much going to decide for themselves what they what they want. You know, I think there are other people who think the way I do, and people are going to decide what they want simply by choosing what avatar they wish to wear. And uh, it'll all come out in the wash. This Saturday, Toonami's getting a little goofy. On an all-new One Piece at 9.30, Chopper breaks out the Rumble Ball. Watch out, Chess Marimo. Then, on an all-new Boba Boa 10, Gasser's wedding gets broken up. Who lets one angry bride? I'm just warming up! Catch these and more new shows on Toonami this Saturday from 7 to 11. Fear is the mind killer. Only on Cartoon Network. You're going to be dead. Yeah, yeah. Get him! In August of 95, one of the U.S.'s largest CG conventions, SIGGRAPH, was held in L.A. At that time, we were not sure what the next generation RPG game should look like. So, as an experiment, we created a CG-based, game-like interactive demo to present at the show. It focused on battle scenes that were 100% real-time and polygon-based. This became the seed of Final Fantasy VII, and it was then that we decided to make this a CG-based game. When we discussed designing the field scenes as illustration or CG-based, we came up with the idea to eliminate the connection between the movies and the fields. Without using blackout at all and maintaining the quality at the same time, we would make the movie stop at one cut and make the characters move around on it. We tried to make it controllable even during movies. 
As a result of using a lot of motion data plus CG effects in still images, it turned out to be a mega capacity game. And therefore, we had to choose the CD-ROM as our media. In other words, we became too aggressive and got ourselves into trouble. サイコロを振ってえっと鹿児島どこだっけかな僕地理が苦手なのよ地域データ見てみよう目的地に着いたら次の目的地が待っているそして次の目的地うんなかなか厳しいスケジュールなのだでも途中コンサートやレースなど楽しいイベントもあるから我慢我慢うーんユーミソはいつ聞いてもいいね年のところで止まったら鉄道や物件を買って資産を増やすのさわい二十二億円も食べちゃったい目標の収益に達した Country living is getting a little dull. Kenji's moving on to the big city. The final chapter in the Tenshi Saga. Tenshi in Tokyo, Friday, August 25th at 6. He's putting his arms around that girl. Love is still a battlefield. Only Tsunami. Maybe it was the first time you saw your reflection in a hubcap. Or the first time you sat in your grandfather's lap in the driveway and pretended to steer. Whatever it was, it began our romance with cars. Something that was meant to get you from point A to point B became almost family. Because you trusted what it was, how it was made, and deep down, you still believed that some things would last forever. Isn't it time you felt that way again? The object of my affection can change. Cybermania 94, the ultimate gamer awards on TBS. Cool. All your favorite games in one wild interactive event. Awesome. Cybermania 94. Coming up next, only on TVS. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Cybermania 94, the ultimate gamers awards. Lean back and strap yourself in as we blast into cyberspace. Dragon 1-2, this is command. Commence operation, no return, over. This is Dragon 1-2, say again. Dragon 1-2, I repeat. Commence operation, no return, immediately. Dragon 1-2, do you copy? Wilco, commencing operation, no return, Al. Damn, why did he have to come to this? Total memory loss? Hey. Wake up. You're our last chance. We're history if we stick around here. Move it, soldier! Open the 
open Pandora's box and release only the success of this mission is more important than our lives. The doubt of your knowledge is based on reality. Wake up! seconds. Keep moving. Come on. Keep moving. 25, 23. Right hand, left hand. Right hand. Come on. Keep punching, please. Keep punching. 15 seconds left. 14, 13. The crowd is standing. The crowd is standing. He's still in there digging into the body. To the body. Six, five, four. He's working. Three, two, one. And that's it. Good work.
Promotional considerations paid for by Dentine Chewing Gum. While you're chewing Dentine, it freshens your breath as effectively as even mouthwash. Brush your breath with Dentine. And by Cody Wild Musk, the essence of animal attraction. Wild Musk oil for her, Cody Musk cologne for him. Use it before you stalk. I saw you sign up for the talent show. What are you going to do, those dumb tricks that never work? Thanks, you really know how to make me feel good. Hey, I didn't mean anything by it. Just trying to make a... A joke. Yeah, well, I don't like your jokes. And nobody else does either. Don't you get the message? We're tired of your put-downs. How do I not want to hang around you anymore? Nobody likes me. Is that me? Why do I look so bad? The way I look depends on the way you feel. It's because everybody hates me. Maybe you don't feel good about yourself because you're always putting other people down. What am I going to do? Try saying nice things to them. Five cups of Freestone peaches, 150 Montmorency cherries, two pounds of Northern Spy apples. These have to be Mrs. Smith's natural juice pies because each one is bursting with fruit. No ordinary pie piles this much fruit under a tender, flaky crust. So much fruit that it actually bakes in its own natural juice. That's why this isn't just any pie. This is a Mrs. Smith's natural juice pie. It's in a class by itself. electricity's answer to the most disagreeable of all household tasks, dishwashing. Instead of spending four years of her life over a dishpan, the modern housewife simply turns the switch of her GE dishwasher and the whole day's accumulation of dishes is washed automatically in five minutes. No dishes can slip from wet, soapy hands because they are placed in resilient racks that protect even your most fragile china and washed by the scrubbing, swirling action of water that is far hotter than hands can stand. And what about cooking utensils, pots and pans, even egg beaters and sieves are washed in this electric dishwasher. Of course, you can polish the glasses if you want to give them a nice crystal luster, but the old chore of wiping the dishes is gone, and won't hubby be glad. For your dishes come out so clean that they squeak, and when the lid is raised, they dry from their own heat. What's more, this GE dishwasher actually cleans itself. With the GE dishwasher, you save endless hours of time, eliminate costly breakage, and protect your home from the menace of the family cold and other infections that originate in the lukewarm water of the average dishpan. You can't afford to be without this modern convenience. for Father's Day. Have you had your fun today? Hey, kid, let me tell you about something that happened here at the ranch the other afternoon. It was just about dinner time, and Dale and I were just getting back from town. In fact, we were late, and Dale was worrying about making supper, so she jumped right out and hurried inside. And when she got inside the kitchen, she found all the kids making dessert with Jell-O instant pudding. Dale was just as proud as she could be, and they sure whipped that pudding up quick and easy, too. You know, with Jell-O Instant Pudding, you just empty the package into a bowl that has some cold milk in it, and then you beat it up. There's no trick to it at all. And kids, you just never ate a better tasting dessert anywhere, whether it's butterscotch, vanilla, or chocolate. So ask your mom to get some Jell-O Instant Puddings for you real soon. And then the next time she's busy, you can have the swellest dessert in the whole world all ready for her. Don't forget the name. It's Jell-O Instant Pudding. And now, how about singing the Jell-O Winston Pudding song with us? You ready? Sure are. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's never, never too late, late to make dessert with Jell-O Winston Pudding. So get the busy day dessert. Jell-O Winston Pudding. It's so easy a kid can make dessert with Jell-O Winston Pudding. So get the busy day dessert. Jell-O Winston Pudding. 
Yep, you get some Jell-O Winston puddings in all three flavors. Vanilla, Vanilla chocolate, chocolate, and, and butterscotch. butterscotch. They're good. huge RV selection. You can count on All-American Coach for low monthly payments. You can count on All-American Coach Company for money saving financing. You can count on All-American Coach Company for a great selection of used RVs. You can count on All-American Coach for fast, dependable service. You can count on All-American Coach Company to always give you something to cheer about. All-American! All-American Coach!
After Colony 196, humanity finally achieves peace. But the ashes of war give birth to a new threat. We at Colony L3X18999 hereby wish to declare war against the nation. A child is building an empire to avenge her father. I will rule the world. With Gundams at her side, Earth will feel her fury. Drop the colony onto Earth. Stop this at once. The remaining pilots will battle each other to stop her. I'm asking if you guys are doing the right thing. The endless walks of war. Peace and revolution continues. See for yourself just how powerless you are. Roger that. Prepare yourself. Gundam like you've never seen it before. You will surrender! Special Gundam Wing movie, Endless Waltz. Friday, November 10th at 5. Suit up again. Only Toonami. Say hello to the Pillow Pets. It's a pillow. It's a pet. It's a Pillow Pet. Pillow Pets are cute, huggable pets that pop open into full-size pillows. They're soft, they're cuddly, and they make perfect pillows. Pillow. Moms, your kids will absolutely love their Pillow Pets. You simply undo the hook and loop strap and the pet pops open into a full-size pillow. Just fold it up, reattach the hook and loop, and it's back to a cuddly animal. It's fun and easy. Playtime, sleep time, anytime. Kids of all ages love their pillow pets. There's a panda bear, a ladybug, a frog, a dog, a unicorn, a dolphin, a bumblebee, a monkey, and so many more. Okay, folks, enough of the pillow pets. Enough pillow pets. It's time for a uh, harder, folks of a harder sort, a boulder, if you will, a pebble. Let's light the ceremonial dragon's dogma candle. Uh, don't worry, ESPN 64. Uh, that clip will return. It's also media tech night. And uh, since today's also a sponsored stream, I'll just let media tech run until the next stream. So... If you like watching a bunch of random clips, you have Capcom to thank. Keeping the stream going. Overnight. Uh, and then it's just more Dragon's Dogma 2, baby. Yeah, but today's stream sponsored by Capcom and Dragon's Dogma 2. The jokes, don't tell them. I was going to play this anyway. Like, a lot. But now, people can justifiably accuse me of being a shill. So, the game just got spicier. <laughs> All right, let's light the candle. Dragons, my god. Dragons, my gogums. That's right. Every time some hapless dope out there pays a dollar to revive in this game, MediaTek is extended by a minute. And it's already filled the entire weekend. <laughs> <laughs> this game rocks. If it were that easy, you guys, everybody everybody would have done it a long time ago. Hold on, let me let me pull focus on my sweet sweet uh, webcam. I think it's about where it was before. I've been forsaken. Oh, well, okay. I'm just taking it right to a hundred right away. Oh, 
I was getting very distracted by what was going on. It's kind of hard to tell where the focus point is. We'll just say it's there. What does this say? A thorough perusal might reveal all of interest. Guys, calm down. What the fuck? What the? F this is nothing you can't handle. Jesus Christ! <laughs> this is the second time there's just been a fist fight. Fuck me! Oh dear. You guys should cut that out. All right, we're. This is nothing you can't handle. <laughs> Holy fuck! Somebody's getting their ass beat. Oh, never mind. Oh, well, I want to stay out of this. And you shall prevail. That's rather put me out. Oh, she's done. She's done. Had enough. Go home, take a nap, recover HP, come back, fight again. Oh, okay. We're playing, uh, we're playing Boulder, aka our interpretation of Calder from The Last Witch Hunter, starring Vin Diesel. It's a little hard to see our guy Vin, but he's in there. He's in there. Um, and in the process of... Yes, Pebble, thank you. Jailers are paid a pittance, despite the hardships of their work. Then we best keep some coin on hand to ease our potential warders' suffering and make them an ally to our cause. Yep. I I thought if I were Vin Diesel, um, which is something I think of often, but in this specific case, if I were Vin Diesel and I were playing an RPG and I could create a companion that followed me around faithfully and did everything I wanted him to, who would I make? And of course the answer is... Dwayne the Rock Johnson, but he's tiny. He's tiny and serene. Imagine the Rock, but like, has has had a very specific part of his brain drilled. So he's just like, he's Vin's perfect partner, essentially. He is built like a kite, very wide and thin. He loves treasure. He loves it, and it makes me happy uh, when he finds treasure because he's very he's all about it. He displays an uncommon zest. For opening treasure boxes. <laughs> uh, all right, where? What was I in the middle of doing? Oh, Bruce gave me a top tip. Bruce gave me a hot top tip for uh, for the masquerade ball, which I was always, uh, which I was kind of stymied on. Oh, looks like YouTube has decided that it's processed this video enough. Looks good. Okay, good stuff. Let's go for it. Bang. What's good, my sleebos and grebos? Fresh inside games content, fresh brought you this thing content. I have to do a couple of clicks. I have to click a few times here. So I'm going to do this real quick. Uh. I just got to post this on the Patreon. Because these fine folks have financed this content, so they ought to get a... They ought to get a uh, notification about it. Welcome to Inside Whip. Games, the only game you knew. Bruce, Bruce, this man sounds this chipper after like staying up nearly all night. He's on like three hours of sleep. What a hoss. What a hoss boss. I want it. Welcome to Inside Games. Right, Bruce is back again. A little, little picture to insert a photo is not showing up anymore. What's your deal? I'll use attachments then. I have to add a special internet photo as a, uh, oh my gosh, hold on. Look at this. I wonder what Resonator's up to. Sometimes his little sausage doodles will show up on, uh, on my wallpaper. Loaf and Pale. Thank you for the sub. I'm just, uh, I'm just scrolling, man. Okay, we'll do that. We'll try that. Everyone gets to see this. Publish.
<laughs> God damn it. It wouldn't let me insert the photo into the, the Patreon post. So it, okay, so it has it as an attachment. Well, this is my Patreon. And if you click on it, it just downloads it. It downloads it right away. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway, maybe that'll catch some people. Maybe that'll catch some people. All right, one last click I gotta do. People will enjoy having that JPEG on their hard drive. All right. We are all wrapped up. Now I uh, bravely get to kick back and see what being contrary to popular opinion does on the internet. Here's a, uh, here's a hint. It doesn't make you very likable. <laughs> but I'm not on the internet to be liked. I'm on the internet to be right. <sighs> uh, all right. So I'm gonna return to Brant. Hmm. Mm-hmm. 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 Maybe I should go back to Harv. Ease has a 30% off deal on heavy hitters vape carts, and they taste good. I may have gone overboard on delivery just now. That is a wonderful top tip. Thank you, DJ Kento. Convenient. Another destination we were bound for is not far from here. When the mind is split, the heart must lead. That's how he became king of the WWE. Yeah, you can Uber Eats weed. It's pretty sick, huh? God bless uh, legalizing. God bless legalizing in our free market that provides goods and services whenever there's a demand. Look, uh, master, a treasure chest. We shall have to find a way to reach it. Sister was trying to tell me to go somewhere. Wait. Oh. Aw, oh, fancy lad's not there today. Not yet, anyway. Alright, where are you telling me to go? What's this? Oh, go to Harv. Uh. uh there a cart that goes to Harv. Yes, it's the western cart. Alright, let's go on the bus. I prefer to go to my dispensary. Gives me a chance to talk to people. You like to socialize when getting your gouge. Get some top tips, maybe. Episodes of episodes of Star Trek to watch. Weed stores next to a Dairy Queen. Perfect. An ox cart ought to make our journey easier. Sometimes life works out. Convenient, though they only travel during the day. Oh, that's true. Dispensaries do kind of toss in goodies from time to time. Whereas, yeah, if you get delivery, you're paying pretty hefty surcharges and tip. Chatting with a bud tender is almost the only IRL socializing I do. Oh, man. Digital living? I guess I, I can't really act that shocked. I don't necessarily interact with tons of people either. I do go out to diners and stuff, but it's not like I'm trying to chat up people. This ox cart's bound for the checkpoint rest town. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. Did you used to smoke? Do you mean like cigarettes or? Uh, I never really had a, a cigarette habit. I have like smoked weed, but there are easier and more civilized ways of getting doinked up. Uh, what's probably sick of being asked? I'm actually not. It doesn't come up much in the stream, but what's your take on the game? Also where it's under hashtag ad. All right, well, that was going to be the first thing. Uh, I like it. I like it a lot. I am fairly permissive of performance problems because it's localized entirely to this one city. And this city's really impressive as a simulation. So it's not like it's running bad for no reason. And the game looks really, really good apart from that. It runs really well out in the wilderness, which is where most of the game happens anyway. So, eh. I think I think performance issues are, are a little overblown. But, you know, games ought to run well. Uh, I, th I think it's also people's tolerances have crept up for performance, which is good. Because more games have been running better. So it's kind of a mix of those things. The DLC is just... I don't know. I get it on principle, but... 
like... The principle doesn't apply here. It just doesn't. This is not the right game to get upset about. Also, uh... Capcom has done the exact same thing with their previous single-player games, and... I've got a good feeling about this one. It wasn't a big deal. And the games were fun, and everyone played them and liked them. So I don't know. I don't know. The ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. No harm in picking a few. Tez death. E. Thank you for the sub. Uh, let's see. Was somebody asking about fast travel? Like fast travel is that really a thing, or is it unlockable without money? It's totally unlockable without money. Um, it's primarily done without money. You get, you get fairy stones by playing the game, and you can buy them with currency you get in the game. Uh, they're expensive. So you're not meant to use them a ton, especially in the early game, but it's a it's a convenience that you can give yourself and you can earn. Here we are. And the process of earning it is it it's playing the game. It's not really grinding. Ways to travel or also, uh, embracing some amount of traversal is important because we've seen what it looks like. Like Starfield is boring as shit. So like you have to be okay walking around a little. Oh, this is not where I wanted to go actually. <laughs> where am I? I thought it was, uh, somewhere else. Shit. Okay. Mmm. That is way farther than I thought. Wow. Ugh. So anyway, I just fast traveled, by the way. I to have seen a pretty stone lying about, would you? One befitting the name the Jadeite Orb. I don't have time for this, man. I can't... From me while I, was I took the wrong bus. Master Everard should find out. He'd wring my neck. There's no exaggeration. He said people killed a four, more than a few at that. To be quite truthful, I'd intended to sell off the Jedi Orb and quit this place for good. Ooh, loof box. Thank Working you for the sub. Such as him, Almost I there. Chewed up till he decided to spit me out. Nineteen more months. That jewel was my last hope. And then the memes are true. Unless, unless you were to find it for me, would you, sir? So yeah, DLC is absurd. Kindness. Selling, selling like revives for a dollar each is is the image of of ridiculousness, especially from ten years ago. But also, who cares? You can just not care. It is a it is a freedom you can give yourself at any moment. If you investig, I guess if anyone investigates that feeling or the consequences or anything, it just. It falls apart immediately. It's just reacting to the feeling. <laughs> that. <laughs> they sold they sold weapon upgrade tickets in Resident Evil 4. And I was like, that's gonna piss people off, right? Some people I remember brought it up and they were immediately like people were immediately like, it's a single player game, who cares? Okay. Suddenly that doesn't apply, just because the Gittin's good. The Duncan's fresh. That's kind of what it feels like. It's a, it's the, it's a stinkier child. People don't already love Dragon's Dogma the way they already liked Resident Evil 4, so the kindling was wet. You couldn't, like, you couldn't throw rage bait on it and catch anything. Five hours into the game, I'm confused about pawns. Do you get more of your own, or do you only get the one you can fully control and create? You get the one. The other two party slots you're meant to constantly hire new, higher level pawns into. Alright, Vernworth. I did not see Welcome to Raccoon City. I heard it wasn't great. It didn't look very good. I don't even, like, I and I can handle bad Resident Evil movies, believe me, but they have to also be campy, and it, it just looked boring. But maybe it's not. Hey, Zazanizzle. Oh shit, that's a big health bar. Whoa, all the shrubs are catching on fire. Oh, 
That's bad. That's worse. <laughs> oh, fuck, it's a Minotaur. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Uh, alright. What? Don't let him chop me. Uh oh. No. Uh. Oh, healer's down. Right. I'm gonna need a. I'm gonna need some money here soon. I better start emotionally abusing chat so they give me the dollar I need to revive. It's tough because as this class, I don't really have a whole lot of defensive abilities. I can't like dash. Oh. Tree caught me. Call us poor for not buying your $30 pack of cookies. Ow. Listen, it's just $30. That's less than half of Dragon's Dogma. I'm sure all of you have already bought all of the revives you're allowed to. Yeah. Looks like the other NPCs are taking care of the, uh, or at least distracting the other, the other thing. Alright. Did, did, did he leave? Hit the other guy though. If we are to best this beginning, we must do whatever we can to stop it off dead? I must have critical hit him or something. I thought I was still smacking the corpse. Oh, shit. Holy crap. All right. I guess I got a critical or something. That's awesome. 
I wonder what happens if I crawl on him as a warrior. Not that! <laughs> it's almost like pro wrestling sometimes. The way that, like, the big moves, everybody kind of slamming on the ground. Uh-oh. The ragdolls are pretty great. Oh, dear. Look at this from the ropes. Oh, okay, he hits. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. If you do a weak attack, he hits with the hilt. But if you do a strong attack, he like jumps off and does a cleave. Damn. I don't know, man. How do you get pissed off about DLC after that? How do you do it? Unless you're just head down in some steam threads. All right, where the f Oh, the cart's gone. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, old wager. You okay? Shall we see if there's ought to be found while we're here? You okay? I mean, he's making noise. Sleeping? You okay, buddy? Whoa. Double's all torn up about it. What? I think he... He's... Kind of jiggling. He's just sleepy. You okay? Well, we're gonna go with the narrative that he's sleeping. Now what do we do? Save it, cuz. I'm not interested. Alright. What? What's your problem? All right. They're just gonna hang out, I guess. Surely this is a jest. All that effort for so little gain. <laughs> Rarely have I felt so empty. Where the fuck am I? Oh, uh, that's not so bad. So here's yeah. This is like one of those moments, right, where any any game that doesn't want to paddle your balls would just let you fast travel, but... No, this is the beginning of an adventure. I can either take the left road, which is a bit longer, but carve south, or I can kind of like, yeah, take this path. Let's, let's take the new path. Let's explore. The entire Suicide Squad steam thread are people ranting about Sweet Baby and how they ruined the game? Golly, alright. Okay. Everyone's trying to... It's, it, is, it is baffling how, like... Are none of us alike in vocation. Gamer culture right now, seriously, is, is... It's just high school bully culture. It's really just... Determining who are the soft targets and then putting together a case against them and then inviting everyone to shit on them with you. That's some people's like entire most fandom. Let's the way they fight express fight. their fandom. Oh, wolves! Use these flames to smite our enemies. Yeah, the nerds are getting revenge. They are, but for what? It, it It's commonly like a bunch of nerds are, are like obviously, uh, obviously worked up. Dare I say it? We drowned our foe well and true. Oh, okay, there's well, Leonidas. Sure there's still room for improvement. And continue to be worked up, but they're just, it really does feel more and more like there's just some people who want to be shitty. Like, that's, that's fun for them. And they kind of enjoy... ...putting together movements? I've seen... I mean, there's shit posts on 4chan. And then there's, there's attempts to, like... 
shitpost in a way that makes people believe it's real. And then there's attempts to, like, astroturf movements and campaigns. People on 4chan will obviously, like, make shit up and try to get it into news all the time, just as a, as like, as a hobby. So I think, like, I think the hobbyists are get, getting a lot better. Yeah, it's wider than that. It is, it sure is now, yeah. Basically, every, every social media service where people profit from, profit from people's attention, <laughs> do it now. Uh, I suppose there is such a thing as too much sleep. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, the internet is basically like a rolling, uh, incubation or a rolling conspiracy theory incubator. Where people are constantly like trying, twisting, reconstructing, packaging, and and trying to like manipulate stories. Yeah, farming outrage bait. Because mm -hmm. because it makes it pays some people's bills. There's a cave in the vicinity that you've yet to explore. I can take us there using knowledge I gained beyond the rift. Outrage material is profitable for the likes of Facebook and Twitter. And prefer combat I like this guy. Oh, it's Garfield! Yay! And may act independently. Yeah, Reddit is weird because people just do it for the numbers. People do it for the, the like... I don't know why people do it on Reddit. Solidarity, I guess? That's a good point. Oh, it's level one. Eesh. I love you, Garfield. Oh, this is this is Andy's. Okay, well we gotta uh, we gotta swap in, Garf. We gotta bring in the the big G. Over many fierce battles was our bond forged. My shield is ever at your beck and call. Ah, good. I see the Arisen's found someone to handle our busy work. Ah, that's Garfield. All right. <laughs> awesome. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early Griffin gets the worm, as they say. I guess what uh I can't fault anyone for uh for rage rage baiting or shit posting like whatever. That's just part of the internet, it's part of the human experience. Um What what's weird to me is that it's working more and more, or that people aren't even stopping to ask themselves. No one even cares anymore. It just a lot of people are behaving like the internet is all theater. Like it's it's fun to just shit on shit on a game and spread misinformation because it doesn't count here. Which I can also kind I guess I can kind of understand. You awesome. Yeah. People that, that make up Am I the Asshole stories. Like, why? Why did you do that? Huh? Some people just like telling stories, I guess. Stopped going on Reddit when I realized that every post on gaming subreddits is just people complaining. If On the bigger ones, it always devolves into that. But there's... I, I really do feel like there's like a critical mass for communities. Above which there's like fewer. What the hell? Oh, it's on the roof. Fewer, louder, angrier people that, that tend to dominate the conversation. What the? Oh. I can't get him up there. Eh! Take care where you place your feet. A sharp incline is as light to throw off the balance as tis our enemies. He's read it for smut. That's a good idea, actually. It's a good use. Ooh. Legion Oxide Hood. <laughs> Why am I carrying all that whole set of armor? Shit. Oh, man. I'm really far away from a hotel. Oh, 
Okay. Well, I guess I might as well camp. A treasure chest. Oh, I can hardly wait to open it. Let See? us hope your curiosity will be rewarded. Isn't he happy? Isn't that nice? I think you can cook rotten meat and it won't kill you. So that's kind of nice. There's there's some like smaller ways that this game has actually kind of become a lot nicer. There's a lot of uh, a lot of quality of life stuff. Although I'm sure that that stuff is a lot more visible to me because I just got off of playing one. Yeah, I don't know. It's tough. Um, what I'm trying to figure out, uh, what I'm trying to figure out as a as a member of the news media, is exactly how much credence and weight to give that stuff, because a lot of the times people are like it. It can't come from nowhere. Nothing is a hundred percent engineered. It all feeds off of something that exists. Whether that's this growing unrest at the state of modern games. Which is also kind of difficult to understand, unless you spend all your time only looking at the worst possible things. So you wanna you wanna acknowledge that you know reasonable people may be upset or annoyed, but also draw a line at the point where it's like, but the rest of this is noise, because it is. But that doesn't mean everyone that thinks a certain way just has static in their heads, even though some of them do. So it's tough. I don't. There's there's a problem. Well, this this I guess is is too far in the weeds, but it almost becomes an, an issue of like if if one well, it's like it's all it's all narrative crafting, I guess. The actual answer is a a news reporter should not have an opinion or a perspective, but that's what makes it difficult nowadays. It, because straight reporting can be can be manipulated. Let's see, how's it how's it doing? Yeah, framing of a story is important. Also, you just have to make choices. Um, that means you have to make choices about what to include and what not to include. Hmm. Well, who knows? I feel like it's the opposite. Sadly, straight reporting is dangerous because you've decided not to take an allegiance. Well, yeah, there's there's definitely that. People um people people will accuse you of distorting the truth if you don't report their version of the truth. That's for sure. See, I think the pack just went away because now I'm light. Looks good, right? Even though it's dried. to get you ready for bed. Indeed. Surely we've time for a short kip ere we continue on our merry way. Oh yeah, I forgot. Sizzler. Nice. Yeah, it has it has real motion video. RMV. To make your acquaintance. Hello, Jackson. Well, aren't you a dapper sort? If only I had purchased more rift crystals. Oh, I can't wait to find out what's inside. <laughs> there he goes. Yep. Good job, Pebble. Ooh, and he also made Scar from Lion King, so I wonder if you run into him too. Huh. How did he make more than one pawn? Or is that his main? Freshly rested as we are, this battle ought to be in our favor. Try not to 
What the? Oh, I got parried or something? I'd been his main. Ah, okay. Oh, Garfield's holding it out. Oh. Can't leave my main man waiting. Yes, 2015 Need for Speed. How tranquil. That is some uh harmless creatures be. That's a big wing over there. Yeah, the need the need for speed reboot is some prime FMV. Same with the hot pursuit. The ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. Oh boy. No harm in picking it. To the scoundrels who think it a jape to destroy local structures. Spare a thought for the poor souls who have to repair the damage. It takes days, it does. Enough is enough. Let me just see if I can squeak past ya. Let me just squeak right past ya. What? Oh! Huh. Hmm. Where's it? Another one? No, that's a dragon? There's a dragon over there. Okay, whatever. Let's just go. Let's just go. Battle is best avoided here. Yeah, I agree. I agree. The brine got it. I see you've been Try on as soon as you can. That's interesting. I, uh, I charged way faster after getting, like, a, a counter shove. Come, come, Pebble. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Um, I... I would be more... Honestly, I would be more disappointed in... In folks, if the Steam numbers didn't look, like, really good for this game. So I think it might be a situation where, like... Folks try to convince themselves it's bad. But... Let us see what maybe once enough time passes, it's just gonna be hard to ignore. And people will just drop it. Stop! Ugh. I'm still on fire. I don't know though. My uh my barometer's off. I did not think people were going to be able to maintain insisting that that uh Oh no, I still have a pack. I th I thought um people were not going to be able to maintain in the insistence that Suicide Squad was bad. But they did. They did. They powered through. So, maybe maybe there will be a group of people that do it with this. But yeah, 180k right now. I think it had a 200k max in its first day, which is really, really good. I mean, if it just falls off a cliff, that's not good. Well, it's not good for Capcom. I don't have a stake here. Even though they are hashtag sponsoring today's stream, use the DD2 command in chat if you'd like to purchase the game or look into it. Rather than, uh, I've been playing for 40 minutes and I already bought a Minotaur, got tossed around like a sack of taters, and the game never asked me to spend money. Apart from buying it the first time, of course. So anyway, there's that. Actually, is there even a, sh not even a store link in game. I don't think you can do any of the purchases in game. Yeah, all that stuff is just kind of kept to external stores. Mm. Garfield wants to keep moving, we'll keep moving. Yeah, Garfield's in the family now. I don't know, man. To me, it's like... Oh, oops. Oh boy, I missed my turn bad. Oh, I think it was backward. <laughs> I think I got distracted by the griffin. <sighs> yeah. The, the thing that bums me out is that these these little incidents 
There are, it all amounts to crying wolf. And it, how do you expect developers to care when it's just like it's it's these little tantrums thrown over over inconsistent features? If there's no consistency, then why should anyone care? Because the rules are just going to shift all the time. Instead, they just follow the thing that is consistent, and that's the money. Anyway, I just saw a comment being like, just because we weren't mad about it with Resident Evil 4, it doesn't mean we can't be mad about it now. And we are. I'm just like, that's it. Okay, all right. Be mad then. It's always so interesting. I like a lot of com I've seen, I've seen a lot of YouTube comments that are just like, uh-uh, you. <laughs> That's kind of it. No, no. How about no? Okay, you're right. You know what? You win. No, it is. Hey, as long as we get a view, baby. As long as we get a uh oh. Sends me to a dead link. Does it only work on consoles? That's not good. Let me click on it. That's not good. I swear I tested that just a second ago. Hold on. Really now. Mm. Mustn't shirk your duty. Lest you forget, tis the arisen we serve here. I'm well aware of that. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it looks like the Nexus store is down. Wow. Ah, well, that's just what happens when the number one streamer and quintessential gamer plugs your online store. Oh, it's working for you? Oh, well, never mind then. Um, yeah, hopefully it works at some point. FKO, thank you for clicking on it. I appreciate that. Uh, DNS issue? Yeah, maybe. Maybe it'll just start working again in the future. Tis a glad thing you rested when we did. A, to get some someone tripped over an AWS server power plug. Ah no! No, I'm too big and heavy. Ugh. Damn it! I feel like a little baby. Does that next thing give you a Steam code? Yes. Yeah, it's it's like it's actually Capcom's creator store. So. Does it tell you what the cut is? Because I don't remember. It is pretty generous, though, I have to admit. What is it? It won't load for me! How am I supposed to know? <laughs> oh, it loaded. It loads now. It loads now? It loads now. It loads now? Hell yeah, dude! All right. Damn, man, I'm shilling hard today. Wait, age restricted? Oh. That is pretty rad. That battle for some time yet. Well, thank you, Crab. Consider this a lesson. This is what befalls one who lets down their guard. Honestly, I, to me, this game falls to squarely into the category of, like, games with soul and heart that deserve promotion. I just want people to play it and have fun. Appreciate the finer, the finer things in gaming. But I appreciate it. Thank you. I know seventy dollars is a lot to throw down on a game, too. I don't take that lightly. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, I have one of those, right? Yeah, I have ladder launch. Let us try for the same result with our next attack. We almost had it. Shall we try again? Garfield is so sprightly. You liking this more than the first one? Yes. It looks better. Uh, the classes. The, there's been some reworks to the classes. Perhaps this will seem of little consequence, but some masters rearrange their party at the drop of a hat. One such arisen dismissed me after only half a day of service. I'll be sure to keep that in mind. Now that's wacky. Yeah, it looks better, plays better. Um, I'm, I'm excited to try out a lot of the different classes. I don't, look, look, oh, Goblin Man? Because so far I've played Thief, Fighter, and Warrior, and they're all 
pretty different. Like fundamentally, what what they're about is different, and the the, the rhythm of how they play. Let my magic's brought you an element Bruce was telling me a little bit about the trickster, and that sounds way out there. Uh Oh, force skill limit sucks a bit. Yeah, it would be nice. They give you more they give you more toys than you're allowed to carry around. But we still have DD1 style stat growth. Really? Interesting. Is it is it just like a hybrid of the two? You still get stat buffs based on where what you are as level up? I didn't like the first one. Do you think there's a possibility I like this one? No. <laughs> I don't. No, it's uh, it's very similar. Did anyone else see that? Or catches the light? We ought to take a closer look. Um, the only potential there is that your tastes have changed in the the recent ten years. Hello, Dimmy. Thank you for the sub. Your joke on Funhouse about the rock is so big he should be called Boulder is a joke I use at every opportunity because it's so dumb it makes me laugh. So thanks for that comedic genius. Hey, I'm happy to spread laughter. Wait a minute. It all it comes full circle because now we got we got boulder. Boulder's here. Oh. Oh, that's what that is. Boulder has arrived. Does the sequel have any narrative value compared to the first? What I mean At last. I thought we'd never find one. Our collection grows. I haven't gotten to that part of the game yet. I wouldn't say that any of the any of the like real world or the 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 arisen world story or intrigue was necessarily all that memorable in Dragon's Dogma. A bunch of fairly standard quests and things. The way that they would play out and resolve was kind of the interesting thing of like timed quests or having to go to particular places to find things. Damn. So that's still that's still a thing, I think. But as far as the the really high level philosophical stuff, when it goes batshit at the end, I have no idea if that no idea if or to what extent that is in this game yet. May I say where I just found a cave or dungeon that I wasn't Thank expecting? You, yes! Consider it my thanks for all you've done. I, uh, I'm all about hearing what people are up to in this game. As long as it's just not like a literal story spoiler. But... With the way this game... What the hell was that? The way this game does story, those are kind of few and far between. Oh wait, hold on. Materials such as this can be combined to craft things. Whenever you switch vocations, your base stats will automatically readjust according to your new vocation's preferred stats. Your new vocation will also provide a stat boost to your stats to establish a baseline. Hmm. Here you are, Master. I hope you like it. I found it myself. Thank you. Ah, uh, PC's a bit old. Hopefully my CPU makes it. It should be okay. I think... I don't know how the game can scale. I definitely understand it being, being kind of CPU gated in cities. Um, but luckily you don't have to do too much in cities. That is, is, fast the sea is. As long as uh, an ogre doesn't bust in there. We would not escape a plunge into the water's depths. Probably not. But yeah, when you're out when you're out in the wilderness, it's not so bad. And and this is the kind of thing that you could probably ratchet down the graphics settings on and, and be pretty fine. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, old wager. I wonder if there's I think there's probably another capital city, because there's like another country you go to. I just started trans transitioning into that area on my last save around 20 hours in. 
So there might be another capital city that has similar performance chunkies. Oh, okay. So there is still a difference. It's not as it's not as or stat wise when it comes to to leveling. Oh dear. Oh that shadow. Ah, we're fine. It's just not as bad as in Dragon's Dogma One. Bother. I was just getting warmed up. Okay. Nope. Nah. Nah, we'll wait on that one. I'm the last witch hunter, not the last dragon hunter. That is so close to town. Yeah. Oh shit. Feeling about this one? No, I don't. Help. 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 Yeah, everyone. Oh no. Wow, oh, fuck. Do we fight it? I don't know about this one. I don't know about this one. I don't know about this. I don't know about it. Yeah, that health bar wasn't really moving, was it? Okay. Okay. I mean, that was gonna be bad, no matter what. I was- I was thinking about it. Like, the best way that- Yeah, sure. The best way that this can go is that I run away and the dragon kills everyone in this town. Damn it. Is that the dragon? Oh, nope. It's something else. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. Perhaps it's uh perhaps it's Boulder's ripe aroma that it constantly gives him away. Is it permadeath for NPCs? Not really. They NPCs die. But at least Well, I'm not sure if it's for all of them, but depending on where they die, you can find their corpses and then revive them with a wake stone. There's like a morgue in, in the capital city. It feels good. There's a morgue in the capital city where corpses are apparently deposited. I haven't had to do it myself yet, so I'm not like intimately familiar with the process. Are the trees moving from the wind, wind from the flap of the wings? Yes. The trees and the grass will sort of like wave with... Wave with air, which is pretty great. Whatever comes our way. How's performance? I think it's really good. It just dips in the capital city because there's a lot going on. Now, what might that be? Um, but yeah, by and large, it's pretty good. What did you espy, hey? You like? It's usually what? Oh. Must finding these be so difficult? Our collection grows. Interesting. I shall have to inform my own master of this. It's interesting that the dragon is marked as a kind of like a side quest. Yeah, I mean you can see the performance here. Now I do have I do have a higher end PC with a with a higher end video card. Sir Arisen, thank heavens you've come. I love this dude. Saurians have claimed the village yet again, <laughs> if you can believe it. God. Hyorin has, like, the perfect voice for being just the utterly hapless NPC. Ah, oh, the lizards are back! What do we do? 
<laughs> Just when almost all of the villagers had arrived as well. Oh, why must these scaly fiends beset us so? Dang. We were so ready to have a nice little RPG village here. Ah! Oh, these pesky lizards. <laughs> Oi, what are you doing standing about when there's work to be done? Jonas, this is the good sir I spoke of. The one who called the Saurians for us. Is that right? Then I expect you to aid us with this mess, stranger. <laughs> you did it once afore, eh? Only natural you'd help finish the job. My apologies for the chief's temperament. Yet he speaks truly. We have need of your strength. Pray, call the beasts as you did before, sir. I dare say you are the only one upon whom we can depend. I'll gather these now. Proper use of whom? Very good, very good. All right, all right. We got to kill more lizards. Oh shit! They're just right over here. Okay, that's how that works. You have to let go. Whoa, sick. Okay, if you hit the timing, you get better launch. That's so rad, dude. Strike boldly and with presence of mind. The Saurians are no more, I see. That's twice you've come to our rescue now. You're more than a friend to Har Village, Sir Arisen. You are a hero. Truly, we cannot. Th oh, lizards are back. Here he is. I found our troublemaker. Jonas, what is the meaning of this? This blasted beastrin went and ventured into Stormwind Cave. How many times have we said none are to tread there? But he just had to poke his nose where it didn't belong. There can be no doubt he's the one who incited the Saurians' attack. Forgive me. I never meant for any of this to happen. <laughs> Trust a beast to muck things up. Jonas! Surely there's no need for such talk. Yeah, you would say that, wouldn't you? Seems to me beastrins go causing problems. And we humans are lumped with the job of cleaning up after him. Jonas, please! You're being ridiculous. Fair! I do apologize. It would seem things have turned rather uncomfortable. But we mustn't let this sour your triumph. You came to our aid when we needed it most. And for that, you have no right to choose some reason. Hmm. Stat growth has permanent gains that you gain when you level. Those are based on your current vocation. There's also your bonus and base stats, which are fixed. You have your permanent stats added on top of them. There's an independent base stat per vocation that ensures you can beat the game. Okay. Yeah. I think... Uh, that's a bit odd, I guess. It would be nice if your stats completely rotated around to match the level of whatever... Uh, whatever vocation you were playing at the time. But, eh. Eh. If, if I can, like... I guess as long as it doesn't make it so that, yeah, you get, you get to, I guess time will tell really on this one, right? If it like, if you get to the point where some classes are just nullified because you just don't have the stat oomph and, and we'll see, you know, if they, if they like patch stuff into the game or add an expansion or anything like that, who knows how the level scaling could go on a long enough scale, but I do hope you shall visit us again and on. <sighs> we'll see. We'll see. Well, I'll rotten note to end things on. I do hope Sir Fioran will be all right. I do kind of wonder if, um, what is it? The, uh, what are they called? The augments. I feel like, I feel like between stats maybe being a little more averaged out and then being able to throw in augments that boost specific things based on the way you want to play. Between those two, maybe it becomes a lot more viable to swap classes and play different styles. You would think with the, uh, 
Different combinations of materials resulted. You would think with uh, with like the one save file thing that uh, they would be more enabling of that particular thing. Yeah, new game plus. I don't I don't know if that's in this game. It has to be, right? There's only one save file. It has to be. It has to be, right? Right. There's probably a level cap. Okay. Okay. So this is one of those times I can use a fairy stone if I actually want to fast travel or I have to run this whole stupid road. But at this point in the game, probably won't have anything new for me. I guess I can take this other road that I haven't taken yet. I'll do that. Come to think of it, some masters rearrange their party at the drop of a hat. Yeah. Why I've seen some what I what I think are just like flags for a new game plus run kind of thing. Be but. Sure to keep that in mind. Yeah, Luke. That's one of the things I love is that like the voices are all kind of stereotypical, but so is the setting, so it fits. <laughs> Slimes master. I think I ran past it. Oh. I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. In battle, I shall follow your lead and prioritize support. CGI semen. <laughs> Never change Dragon's Dogma. Yeah, I don't know. People are mad. People are mad at me in YouTube comments. It's kind of like people just want solidarity, but that's. Christ, slow your feet! You run too fast for the likes of me. I don't know, man. Never to keep up. Though we are less fleet of foot. I guess performance on older consoles is a thing, but it's also a newer game, and consoles are getting old. I, I don't know. I don't know. You can't expect newer games to run perfectly all the time, Un unless they're not doing anything new. Yeah, I saw that the reviews had upgraded to mixed. It's, it's, I mean, it's kind of preposterous that, uh, people would be able to review a game like Dragon's Dogma 2 in the first 12 hours anyway. So it's all reactionary bullshit. I can't remember. I can't remember where it was being discussed, but... Oh, it's back to mostly negative? Okay. Let the games begin. I really do think uh, having a cool cooldown period before user reviews... It's probably a good idea. Why this release is mostly negative because people are review bombing it on steam that's all not allowing immediate reviews on a platform with two-hour return period gets dangerously close to not oh that's that's fair kowtow well no 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 hold on return two hour return period is based on somebody's personal experience I that's you buy the game you play it and you're like this game's bad and then you return it why do you need other people's reviews for that Oh, refunded my purchase on Steam, but it doesn't look like I can buy through your link in Australia. Oh, hold on. Let me ask. Um, 
I, I see what you mean, though, because people ought to have the tools to, like, make a purchasing decision. And it would be nice if there was some kind of, like, community way to do that. <laughs> About games with great user reviews, bad journalistic reviews, and vice versa, it makes sense to see both sides of the coin. All right, that's fair. That's fair. The monsters left us a parting gift. I'll see it safely into my pack. Don't and, you worry. And I guess it is just kind of up to uh, it is just kind of up to consumers to be savvy enough to know that review bombing is a thing. All right, let me. Um, apologies about the Australia thing. I, hey, first of all, thank you very much. Or uh, for trying to purchase the game through that store, let me ask. There can be no harm in bringing this along. We'll find a use for it, I'm sure. I thought you might like this, so I picked it up. Here you go. There are category categories to choose from, and Australia is excluded from the rest of the world one. It might have something to do with how tax works. There are three categories to choose from. Huh. I'm really sorry. Uh, thank you for, again, thank you for trying. Um, I've asked a question. You mustn't shirk your duty. Lest you forget, tis the arisen we serve here. I worry there may have been some guide I should have read. But no, I didn't, I didn't, they didn't warn me or give me a heads up about that or anything. We'll see. The moral of the story is to not trust reviews. We have to let, we have to let people overreact. We, can, we do. Um, and I guess... Yeah, I guess it's just kind of... Uh, people have to have to know that... Sometimes nerds tend to, tend to hurt themselves in their confusion. I don't know. All the reviews I saw were about Steam Deck and Linux performance. Yeah, it's 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 really not it's not out of bounds. It doesn't perform inordinately worse than other games. It just in the big in the big city, the the one big city, it does a little bit more than other games do. So it runs a little bit worse. But I'm sure it'll improve over time. I don't know. It's just like people people hear hear the clarion call. Game run bad. No, like, yeah. And then when you say but game doesn't run bad, I'm like hey, hey, oh. it does though. Or even if it doesn't, it's okay to be mad about games running bad because games should run good. The arisen's soaked to the bone. I got gooped up. Oops. Help! Help me ungoop! Up! Oh! They didn't help me at all. Let my magics grant you an elemental boom. Help! Help! Alright, I guess I have to jump in the water. Maybe I can get out? Here we go. The ragdolls in this game are pretty special. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I remember, I remember kind of... Are we leaving already? Oh, I was just getting warmed up. I do remember being pretty impressed at the like, I mean, some of the cyberpunk stuff. People would just be like, the game runs like trash. Like, no, it's an open world game on, a, on an old ass console. Everyone forgot how GTA 5 ran. Everyone forgot how Skyrim ran. Everyone remembers those games as running like 1080p 60, I guess. Memory doesn't matter. That's that's like old men yelling at cloud stuff. And again, apparently you're not allowed to draw comparisons. Anyway, this game rules. Enough complaining about discourse. Hey, 2016 Gamer's Choice Gamer. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing great. I'm doing so well. Is an enemy in and of itself. Who won Trending Gamer in 2016? Was that the Greg Miller year where he got up and like picked a random name out of the Tomb Raider credits to make a big impassioned presidential speech about? I'll 
pop open the chest. I don't know why I remember that. Forget the support or not. I'm getting it regardless. Is the deluxe worth it or not? Um, I don't know what's in the deluxe edition. I'm not a deluxe guy. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, it's. I tend to like, like the base game. The truth is, from an economic standpoint, whatever whatever the base game is, that's the highest like content for dollar trade off you'll ever get. Anything else is just kind of additional things. Uh, okay, so the next store is limited to North America. Uh, I am sorry about that. Um, this should be okay. Let's assume this is okay. Something arisen. Arisen. Looking rather lost. I don't know what the ethics of this are, because I have another sponsor tomorrow uh, that I think is a worldwide key retailer. So if the store only works in North America, then it won't conflict with that sponsorship to suggest that oh, I don't know about you, Master, but I'm worn out. I'm uh, there is an, another way to get Dragon's Dogma and another sponsorship. Um... This should be chill. We're all buying Dragon's Dogma, right? Hold on a second. Here you are, Master. I hope you like it. I found it myself. Okay, so when he says that, he is tucking something into your inventory. Sky is a bomb to the battle weary heart. Okay. If if you do not reside in North America and you want to buy this game and you like me so much, you think I'm just the bee's knees and you want me to get credit, uh let me know and I will slip you an another link. There are people who don't live in North America. Some of them even play video games. Some of them. So let's see. Um, sorry, who was who did me the intense favor? Okay, all right, Aesop, I gotcha. And hopefully this isn't going to make, hopefully this doesn't inadvertently make you a, a global, global key guinea pig for the other thing. All right, here, I'm slipping you a link. The link has been slipped. Yeah, FKO, maybe that's why the link didn't work. So if you're not in, if you're not in North America here, I'll, I'll just post that in uh, YouTube chat as well. Yeah, everyone's getting Rickrolled today. Are the promotions just for today or for a longer period? Uh, longer period. Longer period. It's just technically like... To go all the way down the technical ladder, like, they're only sponsoring two hours of the stream, but... I just want to make sure that... People pay their money. They get, they get what they came for. Oh, I think it's when you... Ah, I think when you use the camping kit... It takes it out of your inventory, and then when you pack up and move on, it puts it back in your inventory. I think that's what that's all about. Ah, uh, Javi, thank you for the like. Good to see you. Yes. You can see the blood sizzling on out of there. Just how a fine meal makes your eyelids heavy, and not your stomach. Agreed. We ought to give ourselves a chance to recover ere we continue on our journey. I thought I was losing my camping kits. So that happens too. I think they get used up after a certain number of uses. 
Yeah, they just use real video. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, Sizzler. So yeah, now I'm, my my carry weight went back up to heavy. God, this game's gorgeous. The game's gorgeous. You have to not be looking at it or playing it to get grumpy about performance. Now that said, I haven't seen what it looks like on a Series S. A Series S is probably not great. I'd wager there's ought to be found here. Let us ponder how best to proceed. Yeah, there's a Seeker's token up there. Our field's not really doing a whole lot of hot movements out there on the field, I have to admit. I guess that also is, in, is pretty in character. It is raining most heavily. Ooh. I have a Ryzen 5800X and a 3070Ti, 16 gigabytes of RAM. It does not work. I mean, if it doesn't work, settings are not, not your problem. If it just won't run, that's more of like... You gotta, you gotta start, like... Reinstalling drivers and stuff. Ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. Shall we see if there's ought to be found while we're here? We can share pawns. How do you like two-handed versus shield fighter? I didn't like it to begin with, to be honest. I was I was just starting to really vibe with the shield and parrying and things like that. But now I think I get this I get this class a little more. Um the barge can take us to new heights. You can you can like barge through attacks. Uh, so it's kind of like a dodge, except it doesn't really move you that much. So yeah, you kind of plant in place, and then you have to use your barge or your charging attacks to soak and then attack through enemy attacks. So yeah, your shield just becomes kind of gritting your teeth and uh, and being tough, I guess. So once I got that, then it started making more sense. Now I just have to get more familiar with the timing of it all so that I can start landing big hits more intentionally. But yeah, do... Landing one of those big counters or those big hits where, like, ripples come out and it slows down for a little bit, that feels awesome. Also, the, the collisions feel really good. Like, I haven't... It's like the sword actually hitting the enemy and it responds to where I hit it. So, it's like you can see the sword just bash it directly in the face and then boom and it, like, flies end over end. Like, that's... That's pretty peak. I'm kind of hoping that as I, uh, as I rank up, I get more ridiculous... Uh... More ridiculous abilities. Alas, it would seem I've taken on too much. Well, man, you will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to. Yeah, the the warrior is a very monster hunter style, uh, class. Oh, I have two of them. Wait, I'm with. Uh, uh, why did I do that? Uh, why did I do that? Greenish slot. Hospitality. E in O. Doc Joan, thanks for the sub. Just saw the Inside Games video about the game. If you're my 1080 and even lesser CPU won't hack it. Yeah, probably not. That might be a, that might be a, a spicy combo, unfortunately. Caliente. 
Or maybe if you're just really patient. It's me, Roroberant. Does anyone have a problem with the microtransactions? Uh, I sure don't. I get the, uh... I get, I get the principle. But we've, I don't know, there's been tons of games with that level of microtransactions in them. And the world has kept spinning. And, uh... The, the fear is that the game will wrap around presence is requested at the tavern this evening the fear is that the game will wrap around the microtransactions you know um and i get that when a game is designed to push you into buying things or or to make it seem tantalizing that i had a pro i have a problem with like mortal kombat 1 to me that dlc was was an issue it came and went whatever um in this game the balance doesn't seem inordinately tilted towards making you spend money because there's no store in the game. So you have to like go out of the game to like decide you want to buy an extra wake stone and go back in and it's a dollar. And why are we getting pissed off if somebody else wants to spend a dollar on something? I, eh. It's uh it's inconsistent. It's not illogical to to think that's stupid because it is. It is. But it's the it's the nature of the world we live in right now. Yeah. Hey. Requesting? I didn't ask. No problem here, though. My concern. The fellow said aught about the usual place. The closest, the closest it got, and I can admit this doesn't look good in headlines, is like putting the fast travel DLC, the fast travel item DLC, right next to the director saying, "We're taking fast travel out." <laughs> that back to back is is like seemingly a very concrete example of the very the very thing nobody wants. But yeah. Uh, Tilby, thank you for the sub. Yeah, it sounds horrible, right? It's a really funny picture, I have to admit. And if it were the literal truth, it would be bad, but the situation's so much... Eh. There is no fast travel microtransactions? You can't buy fairy stones? I thought you could. You can buy Rift Crystals, and you can buy uh, Fairy Stones of the Rift Crystals, I think? Or can you only buy them with money? You can only buy one Port Crystal. The Port Crystal is the thing you put on the ground in Warp 2. And yeah, the Fairy Stones are what you use. Hold on, I gotta look up the thing. They sent us, uh, they sent me a PDF. I should not have heard that in town. There's something I've come to understand during my stolen hours exploring these streets, and I wanted to share it. Okay, you can buy a port crystal. Oh yeah, you're right. You can't buy uh you can't buy fairy stones. You can buy a jail key one time. Yeah, none of that stuff is, are things that, I guess, ambivalent? Rift incense? No? Yeah, none of this stuff is particularly, like, rare or hard to get. Oh, uh, Dented Duchess, the Inside Games video is out. New journey pack seems the most egregious, does it? I mean, uh, yeah, for all I know, sure. I can't remember what's in it though. It's just a bunch of stuff, it's just items. It's just healing items and shit. The first game I remember doing this was uh, Tales of Vesperia a million years ago. You could just like buy healing items. Eh. Ah, thank you, Peek. Now hopefully it'll work properly on your PC. I'm sure it will. Every 
last resident in this city is wholeheartedly devoted to living out their lives. It seems a simple observation, I know, but to me, it was a revelation, for it made me painfully aware of my own position. Can this existence of mine even be called living when I am so doted upon by my mother? Doted? God, this reminds me. There's some picture of, like, somebody edited Sonic into the Holocaust, and somebody was like, I never really thought the Holocaust was real until I saw Sonic there crying and feeling sad. That's what this is. He just needs to see Sonic, and then suddenly he can he has an emotional bridge. You know that image? It's a pretty good one, right? That's the internet. Why can't the internet be like that? People having emotional, like, feeling empathy for the first time because they see Sonic in Auschwitz. <laughs> anyway, today's stream is sponsored by Capcom. Instead, it's people fucking bitching about one dollar DLC they're not even gonna buy. I want to live a life I can proudly- Oh, it was My Little Pony! You're up, you're absolutely right. All that my heart desires. I'm sorry. You're right. I definitely mentally swapped it to Sonic. I tire of enduring my mother's coddling. It was My Little Pony. mind every twitch in her face in order to appease her. Uh. Hey, I'm happy to hear it peak. Looking at this- Yes, while, while today- Whoa, they're fighting something back there. Oh, no. Oh no! I thought I heard some screaming. It is proof that I am not my mother's servant to be willed about as she pleases. It is something I obtained of my own will. Why is there an ogre in the city? Because he walked in. See, this is like... Alright. Performance is bad in the city, right? There's no loads, so ogres can walk in. It's okay to lose some frames because this can happen. Here I think gold, that means a lot to me. Pray, forgive me for making you wait for it. There he is back there. Now I'd best be off. I may not be able to wander the city like, again for some time. Ogres can't go through loading screens. Oh, he's eating a guard. Thus, I cannot say when next we'll see each other. Saw the Inside Games video? I'm still a little upset people don't want to give any praise to aspects of a game when it has negative press. Yeah, it becomes... it becomes, uh... unfashionable. What bums me out is I'm starting to see the media bend to it. Even the media won't, uh... will, will, like, turn their verbiage around a game to be much more, like, enabling. To be like, no! Yeah, Capcom needs to fix this, and this is just not okay. And, and, yeah. I guess the, the most diplomatic way that I've seen it phrased is like, it has bad optics and that's a shame. That's like the most most accurate way I can think of to describe it. Garfield's down. Oh. Anyway, this fucking rocks. Look at, it, look at all this. Look at this. Ooh. Can I shove him? Look how much damage that did. Oh my gosh. I am grateful to you. Oh, he got his club back. Huzzah! That was hard one. Let us pick ourselves up, dust ourselves off, and try not to slip up again. So yeah. Hey. Oh boy, she's getting in there. There's a ladder. Should we see where it leads? Like frame drops in this game, not the same as frame drops in other games. Stop! Jesus! <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Draper, thank you for the cheer. 
just watch your last IG video. Thank you, sir and Bruce. Uh, I was really looking forward to the game. The negativity today actually got me. Things you pointed out in the video really cleared my mind. Really looking forward to playing the game. Yeah, there, I... What to make of this? <sighs> yeah, it's a bummer. It, it, I don't, it shouldn't bother me. It shouldn't bother me, but it kind of does that occasionally the freaking gamers eat themselves. They're just so desperate to dunk on something or, or maybe they're just like really frustrated, but picking the wrong targets. There's been some wrong target picking lately. Not that I think anyone should be picking targets. I think that's kind of childish, but people are so desperate to just shit on something that they're picking the weirdest battles. So I don't know. I don't know. Then again, I, I thought I thought attitudes would shift around Suicide Squad, but they didn't. But I, I don't know. I think it's going to be very difficult to maintain the oh narrative God, that this boy. game is a travesty and an insult and all that. I don't know. Anyway, this is sick, though. Uh, this this corpse is going to be here a while, which is kind of fun. Uh, the good news is the flouncy lad gave me a uh, fancy attire. So now I can go to the, uh, I can go to the masquerade. There's also this dude. I compared notes with Bruce about the, the storyteller. I was, I was already gamer enough to follow him through an entire real-time day, so I kind of know what he's up to. That said, uh, the story, the quest did, well, I won't spoil anything. I mean, I'm curious to see if there's other ways for it to go. It's just nerd media as a whole? Hmm. Any show or movie game comes out of something that involves the whole genre, they always have the loudest crybabies whining about nothing. Yeah. 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 I think it's just the internet. I want to tune it out, but but like I said, it does kind of, it does get under my skin a little bit. Thinking about the games that are, like, well made, have, a, have an intention, have a message, made by, like, professionals, craftsmen. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? People who've refined their technique for decades. And especially games like Dragon's Dogma, that are even kind of spiritually tuned in to, to the format of games and the history of that. Uh, and to just have people, like, pick on it. <laughs> it's dumb. It's a video game, right? The stakes are low. But, like, goddamn, man. There's some... <sighs> this is the target you chose? It sucks. Talking about hentai games? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Some ingredients. What's the discourse around hentai games? Use them when the need arises. I feel like... I feel like it should just be like a lot of happy, excited people, right? There's none? Nah, there are people who like, talk about them. You, like, there's, there's 4chan threads and shit where people trade tips. Not enough QTEs. Need to just play more... Spider House. That's not even a hentai game. Oops. Um... What am I doing next? Oh yeah, I got Flouncy Lad's... Clothing. That's tonight. Sculptor's Block. Jadeite Orb. Blech. I'm going to pick that back up when I go west to go to the other country. I never did this one. So since it's kind of the morning, maybe I have time to get out there and back in one day. I don't think I do. Oh, that's not that far. Oh. Oh. All right, let's get out there then. I've just remembered. There was another matter we were to attend to hereabouts, was there not? That is not we here at all. Decide which is the most pressing. I did. We cannot do everything at once. I know. Hail, oh. friend. Have you a spare moment? I've an eye for people, and my instincts tell me you're of trustworthy ilk. Hell yeah, Senran Kagura. <sighs> is there a new Senran on the way? I'm in a bit of a quandary, you see. I'm to be. We're at a real renaissance with hentai games. Girls with six, seven, eight penises all inside them at the same time. Fear not. I only ask your name. Squirming and writhing. You needn't bother yourself with the cleaning, and I don't expect you to stay cooped up in there neither. Huh, even though review bombing seems dumb, I still think it really hurts uh 
really hurts any chance this game has of being a game of the year contender when it has all the makings of one. Yeah, that's another thing that's also kind of frustrating. Because that bites off some frustrations I have with, with games media or the people that kind of elect themselves into being, you know, arbiters of games. Um, yeah, I agree. I agree. Although I guess what I really should do is embrace that game of the year shit is as much human buzz as it is uh, as it is what games are actually the most f deserving. I'd be much obliged if you'd simply consider my home a waypoint on your travel. Uh, but Tom McRae, thank you. Sound appealing? Then come on by and have a look-see. I've taken the liberty of marking the location on your map. Yeah, there's a lot of weird shit out there. Is there a way to see both chats without opening both streams? Always confusing to get an answer to a question you can't read. Yeah, I appreciate that that's uh, confusing. I need to do a better job of restating questions, I think. Um, I think there are tools... Well, there are tools for streamers that let you do that. This ladder can take us to new heights. Ah, excellent find. Glad you like candle cam. I do too. Oh, I think I can buy a better sword. I think I may already have. There's a worthy prize. Are you in the market for something in particular? Yes, I already have a war blade. Enhance war blade. Oh, What's the flavor of candle? This is a Final Fantasy XIV branded candle. And it is designed after the scent of Elpis. El Pissarata. You are El Pissarata. Quality is what you need if you want to sup. There's like a city called uh, El Piss in the game. I guess it's meant to smell like that. It's kind of like flowery and creamy. So it's like, it's it's floral, but it's not too sharp or, or perfumey. Yeah, we need the guns showing. That's important. I wish I could show more skin. Some knee pads. Five. So, before you check the price, I already bought him better gear. Well, eh. Combat breaches. Yeah. Okay. Just remember, misers die early deaths. Hope to see you again. It is most exhilarating to hand over such a sum. An investment made for safer travels can hardly be called extravagant. It's got them big old beefy sausage arms. Y'all gooping? Gooping over there? All right, last last point of business. I just got to buy and equip new well, skills. Then, you will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to the foremost hospitality in all Vernworth. You think it'd be possible to play this game high? Well, sure. Yeah. Um, you can just kind of wander around the open world and, and just beat people up and level, I guess. Wow. Rayum. Thanks for the sub. It is a game of consequences, though. So if you like, if you really feel the sting of like failing a quest or something like that, you probably wouldn't want to do anything too consequential. Much obliged. Well, I've exclusively played this game high, and it is excellent. Yeah, the the vibes are pretty pretty serene, and um, yeah, I guess it's possible that you'll you might botch a quest just because you're fumbling controls or staring at a wall or something but it, it makes the it makes the amazing moments pretty amazing and it has a doofiness this game has a wonkiness to it that i think pairs pretty well the ragdolling really 
Um, and some of the, with the guild, sir. some of the dorky I dialogue. To assist you. Have you found any of the items we discussed? Heavens, heavenward sunder. Up and plunges down the blade using full force. Deals further strikes to smaller flinching targets. Playable while jumping, more powerful when used from a height. Hmm. Oh, that's cool. It's the blade upward, delivering a sar. Oh, okay. Levering a solid blow that can knock targets off balance or render them unconscious. Oh, that's rad. The Knoll Breaker. Devastating Charged Strike. Do I want Devastating Charged Strike? That one's worth more points. So, yeah. Oh! What? Parries a hostile target's attack by unleashing a charged attack that can knock the target off balance. Oh man, that's awesome. You can basically stuff attacks as long as it's charged. Boom! Oh, that's... That's boss. Here's your ability to push to pull targets when grabbing hold. Great! That was the first time I had shoved over an enemy too, which was pretty cool. Okay. Wait, why can't I? Do come again. Why can't I? Why can't I change Pebble? He's right there. Wait, no, he's not. Pebble, come, come, Pebble. Yeah, that's a gangster. Say, have you business with the guild, sir? I should be glad to. I don't know, I don't quite know how, uh... Oh, okay. That seems good. I'm st oh, no, definitely want Skull Splitter. I'm definitely, I'm still a little fuzzy on... Like, what... What or how, uh... Assist you. Your pawn will use the abilities they have equipped. It's a pleasure. I am accepting pawns. Yes. Uh, here, let me, um, let's rotate a, let's rotate them out. Let's get a new cast in here. Swag. You mad, bro? You swag, bro? So there's like, there's pawn codes, right? Here we go. A mage pawn, all right. Does it feel like the amount of money it takes to have new game running at peak standards to enjoy is pricing out a significant amount of gamers? It's becoming an expensive hobby. It has always been an expensive hobby, but it is becoming cheaper. Is the thing. It's actually becoming cheaper. PC parts have gone up in price uh, a bit, but I think the the like power for money ratio and the average performance you get in average games for the money that you put in has gone up. So I don't know. Um, if you want the top of the line video card, you're looking at how often does like Nvidia or AMD release like a new mainline series? Maybe every not every like 18 months or so? Every two years? Every year and a half? That's if you're in PC, which is the already the high-end enthusiast. One. If you're in consoles, then it's like 500 bucks every five years, every four years. I don't know. And yeah, a lot of games scale really well too. So, so I like I don't mean to say gaming is cheap and it's easy because it's not. Um, but the the startup costs are high. But once, especially once you have PC, sheesh, you can get a lot of games for cheap, and PC hardware stays relevant for pretty long these days. 
Um, man, back in the back in the like '90s and 2000s, when 3D hardware was just like doubling in power every every couple of years, you had to you did have to buy a new video card like every two years. Um, it's 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 flattened out a lot. So I don't know. Yeah, I think PS5 Pro is going to be pretty expensive too. They can't. They could charge like 600 bucks, 599 for PS5 Pro. Uh, they don't. They probably don't have to, but they're pretty good at making money. So, yeah, we'll see. Um, the 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 thing that I think is cool is that it's scaling. If you wanna if you wanna run everything at like max res, then then yeah, that's gonna cost money. It's just down to like what you can what you can tolerate. Yeah, there's free to play games too. Even games like uh, like Honkai Star Rail. You can play on a phone or even like a Steam Deck. A Steam Deck is a pretty low point of entry. And yeah, Dragon's Dogma 2 probably doesn't run great on a, a Steam Deck. But you have access to pretty much every video game ever made. And like if if you acknowledge the, the kind of like the gray area of emulation and stuff, you can buy a Steam Deck and never need to buy another name, another game again and be playing pretty good games. They just won't always be the ones that come out you know, day and date. So I think there's a lot of ways to meaningfully participate in, in video games that aren't that expensive. It just has the ability to get expensive. Ah, uh, Goblina. Come, Goblina! Damn, I didn't think everybody was going to leave. There you are. You can count on me to fly to your aid in your hour of need, Master. Knowing when to use curatives is my specialty. I'm too big. I dare say, I've accomplished a few feats to be proud of, at least. Yeah, little gobbo, little goblin. If ever you've need of an ear to listen, you have but to ask. Okay. Now, Garfield is a delight to have around, and I would, I will hear no different, but also, yeah, I, I could use for, uh, I could use it better. Oh, well, that's kind of interesting. Huh. Ah, uh, hey. <laughs> All right. I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer combat's thrills to gathering items. I am confident and may act independently. <sighs> All right, bye Garfield. I'm going to give I'm going to give uh I'm going to give him some rotten beef steak. This is going to be a little joke. This is going to be a little joke of ours. I'm rather satisfied with my performance. Right. Please dispense with the formalities. They exhaust me so. All right, Leon. Let's go play bingo. A oh man. Has reached my ears, and me thinks I ought to share it. I can confirm there's nothing better, there's no, no better feeling in gaming than uppercutting a Cyclops with a great sword and jumping on him and stabbing him in the heart. 10 out of 10, I fucking love this game. And in time will even cease to heed the Arisen's commands. It's pretty beautiful, right? Really be true? 
I don't like the sound of it at all. Sometimes it's the simple things. Any Final Fantasy candles smelling you have? Wait, what? I think there's a word that's getting covered up by the stupid reaction button. No. I know you were kind of iffy on the second link you posted. Can we use it if we're in NA? If you're in North America, then my sponsor, Capcom, would prefer... Would like you to use the Nexus store, which you can uh, visit by using the DD2 command. So exclamation point DD2. Um, that's in YouTube chat, by the way. But also there's another link if you if you want to look at that too, that's fine. I'm in Puerto Rico. That counts as US, right? Oh the Cyclops is gone. Okay. It's significantly later in the day now though. <laughs> Whatever. I'm still let's screw it. Let's go do this quest. Wait, what? Oh. Oh. Who's the forager? I thought I, I guess, I don't think I taught forager to pebble. It must be Goblina or Fat Leon. I shall inform you if I learn aught of worth. Matters of import. Where ought we to go now? Mm hmm. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, old wager. No so wager. Be found while we're here. Or. The false sovereign has been an enigma for far too long. What say we make for Vermin's eastern edge and investigate him? I, I, I can guide you to the vicinity of our destination, Master. Well now, isn't this lucky? Someone who knows the way. Man, Fat Leon is huffing. Yeah, he's trucking, man. I can barely keep up with him. Get him, Leon. Get him! Leon! Was I could have done no better. Well said. Let my magic grow in an immense Back to the road. Oh, there he goes. Look at us go. What the? Oh, whatever. Huh. You could find the ox carts along the road. That's kind of cool. Did you just kill the ox? Dare I say it? We trounced our foe. Well and true. Well, you did. I'm sure there's still room for improvement. You wanted the meat. Sorry, folks. That's Leon. He's hungry. You know how it is. Anyway, see you later. Yeah. You still playing Rebirth? A little bit, yeah. I started doing some of the... I, I, I wrapped up the side quests under Junon. And now I'm in the area around Costa del Sol. I basically did the stuff inside Costa del Sol and now I'm in the region around it. Ah, hell. What do you think, Valion? We're just gonna move it? Alright. Good lord. They do such a good job selling the power of those big hits. That was impeccably timed, Arisen. Wait. There he goes. 
Yeah, God. Watch this drive. What are you what are you aiming at there, pal? What are you aiming at? Starting to feel a little overpowered. Once more. All right, Fat Leon, if you if you would do the honors, where where to go? Oh, there he is. Follow me. Sure. From this distance, I cannot be sure. We shall have to make our way over to it. Whoa. Whoa. That was some performance weirdness. When tarred, be sure to avoid open flame. Mm hmm. Should be abused. Let my magic imbue your weapons with the fury of the elements. Someone saw fit to camp here. Nice. Hey, yeah, uh, thank you, Joe. You are reading this. Congratulations on making it to Friday. Guess what, folks? We did it. We made it to Friday. Shoppers! Seems there's no escaping them. Yeah, Tomax. That's why it's a little complicated, huh? But they're the sponsor for today. As I understand it, it is boorish to speak when you've naught to say, so I shall hold my tongue. Right, just follow me. My talents lie in combining materials, and I'll use those in my possession to craft things for you in my spare time. I saw a clip of someone playing a smaller character <laughs> when they were fighting an ogre, a wolf ran into the pack. Picked up the little guy and ran away with him to eat him with the rest of the pack. Ah, that's awesome. Getting dragged around by enemies. Feels so silly, but it's the best. I think I put a bug... I think I put one of those in, um... In storage? Ah, oh, shit. I'll harvest what I can. I 
I was gonna be able to make it. What is he doing? Woo! Do not falter. We'll take every ounce of our strength, but we can prevail. Amount of stamina, interesting. Off of that? Damn, okay. Yeah, you mentioned barbecued minotaur. Plentiful hereabouts. Maybe I should camp. Ooh, Timber Baron. Thanks for the sub. Look, Master, a treasure chest. We shall have to find a way to reach it. It's quite simply the best voice acting. Treasure chest, nah. Now I'm wondering, does it let me pull meat from anyone? I think it does. I wonder how they decided which cuts of meat in real life. But perhaps another night. I can scarce keep my eyes open. Yeah, Leon's a real talker. I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer combat's thrills to gathering items. I am confident and may act independently. Our master's a magnanimous sort, letting us sup on fine meats before a heartening fire. What's interesting is you can cook the rotten meat and it is kind of like grayish and sickly looking. Yeah, that's true. Knowing Capcom, they might put out a video for it. Could we be so lucky? A good sleep does wonders. Come, we've much to be getting on with. I hope you slept well. Well, thank you, Leon. I've just recalled. I found a treasure chest near here during my travels beyond the rift. May I show you to its location? One moment. I believe we are bound for... Yes. I know the place. Look at this, Captain. Allow me to show you the way. Goblina's showing me a treasure. I suppose we ought to make for our destination. Freshly rested as we are, this battle ought to be in our face. Try not to get beat. There's no way to see go to one. Let my magics grant you an elemental beat. Alright, where's that treasure? I think you gotta wait a second for them to remember. Oh wait, it's right there. Look at that! Do you remember getting this treasure? Alright, Fat Leon, lead the way. Follow 
How different are the other classes? The wind-up seems so slow. They're not like this. The, the slow wind-ups and stuff are very specific to this class. The, the fighter, which is kind of the an offshoot of this, I guess, or a less specialized version of this. It's more sword and shield, and that's like got a lot of shielding at the right time to do shield parries, and then you can I follow up. To notice, we've all got different vocations. Then you can follow up with like different most uh, attacks and impales and things. We are well poised to supplement each other's strengths. This is all about like charging up the big hits and making sure that you time them right so that they land where the enemy's actually actually at, instead of just whiffing big time. It's going to be harder to fight fast enemies with this, that's for sure. Yeah, fighter's more tank. Yeah, yeah. I mean, all it seems like all classes have... Chest appears to be beyond our reach. Is there no way to reach it? Have tools. Have damaging tools. I did Thief before, too, and that's way faster. Tons of, like, dashing and jumps and flips. Could you come over here? Yeah. Oh, okay. Do try to keep me in your sights, master. There's no yellow paint. You know? Why aren't the gamers uh, celebrating that? It is rather narrow here. Be on your guard. It's hard to see more than a few paces ahead at a time. Anything might await us. Hey, Lane. <laughs> paint DLC is five bucks. <laughs> I've never been to this village before. Nameless village. You there. Are you looking to enter the village? You best go elsewhere, friend. What's wrong about this place? There's no business to be had here, that's for sure. Oh, hopped into Bruce's stream last night. He had just entered this place, just joined yours, and here you are. Yeah. I think... What about you, master? But word of a curious village, there's more to spark my interest than deter it. I, I think Bruce did a ton of running around to get the trickster class as soon as possible. So, he might have gotten here a lot later because of that. And here I thought I was leading the way. But I suppose your whims take precedence. Oh, come on, Leon. It is capricious indeed. But don't despair. We shall count upon your guidance when the time comes. Well met, sir. How might I be of service? Been playing Elden Ring to get a character ready and watching your vids for it. You excited? I am. I am. I'm excited to just... I'm excited for Elden Ring. I'm excited for more Elden Ring. Decided to get back in there. To Elden those rings. Well, that's pretty good. Ooh. I like the little titty cup. I wish the stats were better. I guess knockdown resistance is better. Alternatively... I can give myself permission to not care. I should probably, I wish I, can I get the, yes, perfect. All right. Pebble needs the Howling Hood. Befitting of Pebble's cinematic appearance in Hercules. God, 22K. You don't need, you don't need new armor that badly. Yeah, I'm blocking. My bad. So, hold on a minute. Yeah. 
Yeah, there we go. It's not a huge step down in stats. I can live with that. Yeah, you can kind of see his side titty. Good stuff. <laughs> okay. Feel good about this. Be busy. Work begets opportunity. Always a pleasure. I mean, as this class, jeez. I actually haven't had a whole bunch of problems uh, staying alive. I'm really not taking that much damage. Okay. I'm gonna take another. Sp okay, I like this. Sort of joy. It's so droopy. Something's just off about the uh, about the proportions of this lumpy man. Hold on. Let me see if I can get any mileage out of these capes. Nah. Oh god, it's so big. It like scales to his character model, but I do like how stupid he looks without. I do like I like I like how stupid he looks without the cape. It makes it. He looks kind of like Andre the Giant. You know, the like the, the wrestling singlet. I do like his traps look even stupider this way. God, this is good shit. This is good. I feel good about this. I feel good. I feel good. Uh, speaking of feeling good, I'm going to be right back. I got to excuse myself for a moment. See you soon. Fit right inside. Perfect for the overnight trips to grandma's house. This is more than just another stuffed animal. This is a pillow that your child or grandchild will use every night. It's a pet with a purpose. Every pillow pad is made of ultra soft, high quality chenille fabric. The heavy duty stitching ensures years of enjoyment and they're even machine washable. Pillow pets are so soft and huggable. All it takes is one hug and your child or grandchild will fall in love with their pillow pet. Over a million kids are already enjoying their very very own pillow pets. Every pillow pet is so cute and unique. The hardest part is choosing which one to get. Go online to www.pillowpets.com to see the full selection of pillow pets. If you have a birthday, holiday, or special occasion coming up, pillow pets make the perfect $20 gift. Imagine your child or grandchild's face when they get their pillow pet. Pillow pets come with a full 60-day money-back guarantee. So go online right now to www.pillowpets.com. That's www www.pillowpets.com Adopt your pillow pet today. Ima, aratanaru pokken no tabi. Level wo agete saikyou no ninku waza o master shi. Full color no kakutou rope de ninku. Flexibility. It's what makes Remington's new Smooth and Silky Ultra our best shaver ever. Its exclusive UltraFlex shaving system hugs every curve for our closest, most comfortable shave. Remington, America's number one brand. And then we'll be back. Clear. Good. Good. Let me see what's up on that. What is this burst? Is it a bang? A blast? A bust? So I give it a go, and whoa! It's like a moonshot in my mouth. An explosion of perfect peppermint St. Helens. Not a blip, not a bit, a whole definite burst. Which gets me thinking, for a burst of flavor, there's a million things you could chew that still wouldn't add up to carefree. So if you've got a friend, a neighbor, or someone you don't even know, clue them into the... Hi, I'm Mark Marin from Short Attention Span Theater. Watch us weeknights at 7 here at Comedy Central. I know that puts us up against network news in a lot of cities, but come on, our clips are so much funnier than theirs.
I built the entire city of Seattle on the roof of my car. Now my car has wings, feathers, and a beak. A little glue, a few seeds, just add water, and voila! It's not what you add on to our car that makes it more fun. It's what you take off. The Del Sol from Honda. Right now, your Honda dealer is offering attractive lease rates on the Del Sol S. Do you believe in reincarnation? Armor All Tire Foam. It cleans. It shines. It makes tires look like new. Now you can believe. Alternative math. One for sandwich, plus one hash brown, plus one coffee, equals $1.99 every day. Add it to your morning at Burger King. We may not be the world's number one fast food place. It just tastes that way. MGM invites you to spend Father's Day with the Gleason. Make the shot you win, Dad. Yeah. A family where the bond between father and son ah! is growing stronger by the minute. Oh. Macaulay Culkin, Ted Danson. How'd you get so smart, huh? I don't know. She certainly doesn't want in the family. Getting even with Dad. I'll race you to the corner. No, no, wait. Okay, go. Ready PG. Starts Friday at theaters everywhere. Who were your biggest uh, male role models growing up? Roslyn Russell and Beatrice Arthur. Those are women. Oh, really? <laughs> Spend Father's Day with the kids in the home. Sunday, starting at noon. Oh. Voila. In a dangerous time, in a lawless land, they defended justice with their courage, their friendship, call me Doc, and their lives. What do you want to do? Kill them all. Kevin Costner, Dennis Quaid, Gene Hackman, Wyatt Earp, a Lawrence Kasdan film, rated PG-13. Starts Friday, June 24th at a theater near you. Focus your energy. Now, let's work some lunges. Keep your legs shoulder width apart. Are you ready? Lunge out, one. Two, and right, alternating your legs, and left, and right. We'll do 16 of these, eight each leg, left, great. Keep your movement smooth, don't jerk, down, don't bounce, down. La Choy, the Chinese food that swings American, proudly presents the American Swing. More and more people are swinging American with La Choy because it's good tasting, nutritious, and light. La Choy makes Chinese food. Swing American. All across Michigan, citizens' organizations now say the same thing about Proposal G. Vote no on it. The Michigan Chamber of Commerce says electing a PSC opens the door to political skullduggery and manipulation by special interest groups. Communications Workers of America, Proposal G would discourage new jobs. The League of Women Voters, let's not make a mockery of elections by putting more names on the ballot. Michigan can't afford more politics. Vote no on Proposal G. From the edge of time comes the digital watch of tomorrow, today. The new Dress Digital by Timex. Incredibly thin digitals with a totally new technology. All push buttons are gone. Digital control is an amazing command bar. Discover the new, very beautiful, micro-thin Dress Digitals by Timex. Built and priced in the Timex tradition. Timex, we make technology beautiful. Forgive me, Father. I have sinned. Who are you? You have a secret, and it attracts me. Is this why you brought me here? You brought love back to me. You brought it to me for the first time. Christopher Reeve. Jean-Vierre Bougeot. 
in the Frank Blonde's presentation. Monsignor, rated R. Now playing at select theaters. Check newspaper for theater and showtimes. Than the odd couple, sunnier than Sunny and Cher. It's me and Key. It's Kay. And Jeff. They're Japan's hottest superstars. Pink Lady in their American TV debut. He's hit comic Jeff Altman. Pink Lady, a new series coming soon on NBC. You bet. America, the TV series, the computer game, has changed. That Atari has come to Japan. Atari. バンガードスペースインベーダーベースボールフェニックスボールセンティピードゲームの数が違う興奮が違う世界のコンピューターゲームアタリー Hey, we talk setup, we talk product, let's talk games Because like I said before, the name of the game is the games So what's hot and new this holiday? Let's take a look Shall we? For the Super NES, there's another killer sports game to add to the lineup. NHL Stanley Cup. With the coolest Mode 7 scaling spins that track the action. Super Mario Brothers All-Stars. This game pack includes four games in one. A must-have for the Super Mario Brothers enthusiast, including Super Mario Brothers 1, 2, and 3, which have been tweaked to 16-bit graphics and stereo, plus the Mondo Lost Levels. This game pack is free when you buy a Super NES Super Set. Mortal Kombat, the game everyone's talking about. Street Fighter 2, Turbo, radical follow-up to the intense Street Fighter. Yoshi Safari, Yoshi's on the loose again, but this time for your Super Scope. Metal Kombat, Falcon's Revenge, the newest and kickingest shooter game for the Super NES Super Scope. Then for Game Boy, Kirby's Pinball. Play arcade pinball on your Game Boy. No quarter required. It's cool. Kirby's the ball. The Legend of Zelda, Link's Awakening, based on the classic Zelda series games. Now you can take Link with you. It's four megs of battery-packed adventure. Portable party, dude. And for the original NES, Tetris 2. The ever-popular Russian puzzle game goes a step further. It's tough. Kirby's Adventure. It's Kirby, the floating, inhaling, enemy exhaling dude in Kirby's Adventure for the NES. And this is what the, this grill machine is for, to make sure that we all have a little idea of how to cook and making sure that food uh, remains our best friend and not our worst enemy. Hey, here's a hot tip. When you go through the box of stuff, use a checkoff sheet in the setting up section of the binder to make it easy. You know, kind of like a shopping list. And hey, that's a lot of stuff. So if you're missing any of those supplies Ed went on and on about, 
check out the supply section of your training binder thing and dial the 1-800 number to get what you need. Also, sometime around December 1st, you'll get a box delivered that looks just like this. It'll have additional brochures and stuff to hand out, and it will also contain two new handouts, a cool Mario Paint handout and gameplay guidelines brochure that is geared more towards parents. It tells about how Nintendo has reduced violence in its games and about the strict standards they have to keep games fun for the family. Once you get all this stuff set up, your store's Nintendo area will look at least as good as this. Excellent, huh? Extra materials go in the back of your stand-up displays. Give them to any interested customer who's like on the fence about buying the goods. Now, these contaminated. Hey, 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 that's laminated. Oh. Yeah. Cool. That's a director. <laughs> these laminated sheets and, and the player's guides and game pack manuals are for you to spew out great amounts of info on the Nintendo goods to the customers. So read through them. Your store may have some of these decent interactive displays, too, that customers can play games on. If your store has one, get familiar with it and set up your Mario display stand next to it. There's a section in the manual called Displays that covers how to adjust the volume and change out game packs and stuff. That's what your keys are for. Make sure to read about the displays in your store, and if it's not working, call the number listed in that section and let them know. メガドライブ用ソフトは忍者ガイデン。俺の名はリュウ。忍者の末裔だ。忍者の里から秘伝の恩賞が盗まれた。どうやら翔と彼の妹は茜の仕業らしい。翔とは一緒に修行を積んだ
ストーリーに合わせて全7ステージを戦うビジュアルアクションゲームメガドライブ用ソフト「忍者ガイデン」は6000円で10月30日発売予定です I heard about two mice who went to heaven and St. Peter said to them look around for a couple of weeks and come back and tell us how you like it here and they said but we're little mice St. Peter could we have a pair of roller skates in order to get around a week later Morris the cat came to heaven two weeks passed no mice one day Morris appeared he said how do you like it he says oh boy I like it he says meals on wheels whoa, whoa. <laughs> there's a lot of humor small animals such as rabbits and gerbils Folks, I'm back. Sorry for the extended break there. Steph got... Steph came home. So we compared some notes. Asked her about her day. Look at that mist. Uh, uh. It's just so nice. But the, uh, the Friday mood has taken hold. Rather than rather than slave over a hot stove for dinner, I just decided to. I shall take a look inside. Decided to put it. Mm, nice. Decided to put in a, a tight little order. Oh. Better is as suspicious as they come. We must find someone who can explain its true meaning. Who the heck is Darach? An anonymous letter that bears the phrase, a piece of brass. Interesting. Where'd you get that greatsword? Um, I think I got... I think it was just from the vendor in Vernsworth. Once you open up the warrior class, I think it's available in the, in the shop. It does seem like the shops kind of upgrade over time, too. Yeah, JT Briggs. So, yeah, I think I saw your, your previous message. Somebody pointed that out in the comments that uh, the DLC for Re Resident Evil 4 came a few weeks after launch. Which is true, I forgot about that. What's the... What's the distinction? Isn't it better that the DLC is available at launch? That way, on day one, people can decide if they're offended by it? And here I was, hoping for some great treasure. Now I feel a fool. Amusingly... I can't expect gleaming treasures around every corner. Amusingly, it seems like people actually prefer it to come out later, so they can ignore it. And honestly, I think practically speaking, it seems like that's what the developers should do. They should just delay it like a week, so that people, the most engaged people, don't cry and shit themselves when the game launches. It's a nice, it's just the game and nothing else mindset. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. How do we reconcile these things? Is it reasonable to expect somebody to just not care? You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of people actually liking the fact that Activision windows the release of Call of Duty so that there's like a week they can play the campaign and not worry about the multiplayer, which is baffling to me. You're letting a company decide for you what order to play the game in. And you prefer it that way because you don't want to have to make the choice. Is essentially what's being said. Let's see here. To me, there wasn't really a difference, but there was some backlash to it. Like you and Bruce said, it's completely optional. They'll buy the DLC and add it or wait for it to sale. There was some backlash, JT Brig. But, like... Maybe it's because when that happened, people already played and liked the game. And that was the narrative. It was already set. Like, Resident Evil 4 Remake is good. Oh, now there's DLC? Now, I suppose. By your will. Uh, shouldn't we be mad about this? And everyone was like, no. Fret not. I'm sure we'll come back to this eventually. People want to feel like the DLC is something extra that the developer worked on to add to the game, rather than just a piece of content that was cut off from the main game for extra money, even if the former is actually true. No, I get that, Shanzi, but that's... 
That's that's explicitly not the case here. The DLC for this are just in-game items. It's just like it's it's just like buying a health potion or buying a revive. It's in the game. You get them. It's just another version of the thing you get. That's it. <laughs> it's not even that. So like, why are people mad? <laughs> I don't. Uh, uh, it's just because it's there. They're just mad. It's there. It's the uh, it's the implication. The implication. Isn't it about time we had ourselves a meal? Oh, what I wouldn't give for a bowl of hot stew. That they want more of your money, or that you haven't given enough. It's just the implication. So it's like, yeah, publishers just have to dance around the feeling. It's the there's so much dance. There, well, there's not a lot actually, but there's a fair amount of dancing around the feelings. Early access is a huge like dance around, dance around the feeling. The game's actually 120 bucks. Whatever it is, I'll thank you to leave. But it's it. early access, you know? It's one of those. That's how I that's how it's kind of coming across. So it's like you have to you have to manage people's feelings. You have to make them feel like special special gamers that have it all. Everyone needs to feel like a first class player on day 1. But that cannot involve extra money. I think I think I'm like shaving it down to its like its emotional core. There's a societal anger at billion dollar companies milking consumers for everything they can. Sure. Might you consider lightening your pack, master? That makes total sense. I'm exhausted. What can we do without? Well met, sir. I get that. It's just, it's starting to vent out in ways that, that aren't congruous, but I guess it's, you know, it's a feeling, it's not. It's frustrations. Hmm. Yeah, they, they could milk harder, and they have milked harder, and they've milked exactly like, the, well, not exactly. They, they waited, they dutifully waited a week, two weeks, I think, for the DLC. Before sitting down to milk. I don't know though. The game is certified rad. The game is certified rad, and that should be that should be the thing that matters most in the end. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, old wager. Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? It it just uh... I wonder if it's just part of like a, a no compromise attitude as well. It's 2024 and games are this sick. Is it really so much of a compromise? I guess, I guess if you only want a world where everything is like all the boundaries are exactly where you think they should be. But I don't know. I think it's a great compromise. They could be sicker, sure, but if the compromise is there's some things that, like I can't get over this too. Literally not in the game. Not in the game. There's not a store menu. You have to buy it in like a an external store. Once you're in the game, there is nary a message of DLC or extended purchases at all. It's not like it's it's nagging you. It's not like the design is pushing you into it. It may as well not be there. Greetings. Eh. I must say I'm impressed by your intuition, sir. You found me out far sooner than most. I trust you are enjoying your Ooh. sojourn in our fair village. Floud. If you have any questions, ask away. Found me out sooner than most. Ask about the village. If aught about our humble village seems strange to you, that is easily explained. For it is here that thieves are instructed in the skills they require. Not gonna lie, I played five hours on release, didn't know there was a DLC, and was doing just fine. Yeah, if you buy the game and start playing it, you'd never know. You'd never ever know. I don't think there's even like a, a notification box on the like title screen or anything. It's actually pretty classy. To begin with, those who wander into the village are evaluated for their potential aptitude. It does kind of, I don't know. I hope those people in the Lambda lab can get this under control. 
I do too. Another news, did you see the Kotaku story about GTA 6? Uh, no, no, which one? Uh, I feel like you put way more thought into this than the people who raise these issues. On that I can relate. Yeah, Day John. Yeah, yeah. What I need to remember to always do is to verbalize that I get it. Because I, I generally do. I get getting pissed off. But it's just like, it's such like a, it's such a fleeting and spark. Like it's the first spark of a reaction I have. And then I'm immediately like, well, wait a minute. <laughs> you know, it takes place pretty quickly for me. But I, I need to remember that first spark, that gut reaction. <sighs> I don't want to get out of touch. The People's Gamer. Reminds me of uh, people thinking 7 out of 10 mid games isn't good or worth their money. That aren't 100% appealing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, people are allowed to do... Uh, people are allowed to spend their free time however they want. And they're allowed to be as exacting as they want. But I just... Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think people could probably... People could, could stand to have a lot more fun. But it is what it is. Okay. GT6 production reportedly falling behind. Rockstar urges staff to return to office to avoid delay. Interesting. Oh. Interesting. I'll have to read through that later. We know what gamers are about to do with this one. I don't know about that. If, uh... No, does anyone care? Well, okay, so... I am going to talk about this issue in terms of its buzz in the gamer space and not necessarily its practical reality. Oh. Of course you are but no exception. But French doesn't seem like a thing that's holding a lot of, of sway these days. A worthy candidate, which is to say you have my approval as the thief master. Oh, the thief is master. Is there all else you care to ask? You're curious what I know of you? Quite a bit, I should think. Naturally, I'm not the only one. Yeah, Aesop. Some percent of gamers would be fine with literal slavery if they got their GTA 6 a day earlier. And your title I think that's probably most. You stand out among the rumors we collect. You're the second arisen to come to Vermont. And you've allied yourself with Captain Brandt against the Queen Regent. In response, she's... Oops, I mustn't say another word. Mm. Don't misunderstand. I'm no ally. Mm. Hey, soap face. I merely strive to maintain neutrality in political matters. Oh, I'm glad you. I'm glad you like Final Fantasy VII Remake. It's a fantastic game. Playing it again really reminded me of that. Rebirth is dealing information must ne'er align themselves with a particular less focused, power. but that's okay for an Act Two, I think. Code. I do want to spend more time with Rebirth. Is there aught else you care to ask? But right now, this is my jam. Arthur, you say? I've lived in this village many a year, but I can't say I've heard of someone by that name. My apologies. Is there aught else you care to ask? Yes, Chewy. Beg pardon? Why would you ask such a thing? Interesting. A letter. Oh, oh. oh. made quite the discovery. Uh, but thank you for the heads up about the Kotaku story. That's quite interesting. Brass means imitating someone in Thieves' Cant. This letter means to say someone's taken on such a request. No, GNF. I don't think Rebirth is off the stream schedule. Honestly, now that a couple of a couple of weeks have passed, it probably won't be quite the crater in viewership. Which even that is not a is not really what I I use to base what I str what I stream on viewership. That is. Uh, it also just kind of felt like the kind of game I wanted to play off stream. I don't know. Like, there's a bunch of side questing and just, like, pleasant low-level activities in that game. Naturally, I can say nothing as to the who or what of the arrangement. I'm sure you understand. Oh, yeah, that, that GTA story? So, I think the previous story was that Rockstar devs were mad about Return to Office. I could be misremembering, because I do remember there being a Return to Office story. Is there and then I guess this the follow-up here might be trying to provide a a motivation for the return to office. Arthur, you I've lived oh, in this Is there aught else you care to ask? I didn't know his name was right. Arthur. Take care. You, sir, are worthy. Once mastered, what? will allow you to fell all foes, both minuscule and mighty. Take it and do with it what you will. 
Whoa. What the? What'd I get? We're detailing exceptional ability for thieves. The Blades of the Pyre. The Arisen's main pond will also receive the same effect. Hell yeah. Sick. There you go, Pebble. I can't wait to see you burst that one out. Congratulations, Arisen. Acquiring a maester's teaching is no mean feat. I could not be more thrilled for you. I shall strive to learn from your example, that I might reach new heights of my own. Yeah, Don Mess, it doesn't make any sense, does it? Uh, I, I was just kind of talking through that with people. Um, it feels like, yeah, it feels like, it feels like there's, there's a bit more anger and it's getting thrown around a bit more irrationally these days. Is there aught else you care to ask? I take care. Yeah, Street Fighter had it. Uh, Street Fighter was, was monetized pretty heavy. Still a really cool game though. I don't know. It's, I, I don't know. <laughs> the, honestly, um, I mean, a theory that I pose, because I'm I'm trying to to I'm trying to surf the political feelings a little bit too, is it feels like maybe Dragon's Dogma is just not as known or beloved as a franchise, so it's kind of easier to sell it being bad because people don't have baked in affinity for it yet. I don't know, but uh, anyone who's who's honestly played the game. And this is this is where I get is that like people can can royal and toil, but like people seem interested in the game, and anyone who's actually tried it out is like, huh, this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. I can get why like just to compare it to something like the last time this happened, A.K. Suicide Squad. I can get why people wouldn't like Suicide Squad. It's actually pretty like not a foe in sight. Keep on your toes. It felt kind of Doom Eternally. I think Doom Eternal was locked together a lot better in mechanics, but it, it had a lot going on, a lot of meters, a lot of a lot of like screen noise. Can for sure see why somebody'd be turned off of that. But this is much this is much more clean and broadly palatable, I think. And again, once you're in the game, it just Very few of those issues matter. That said, um, console performance. This doesn't sound great. But it sounded like it was in the 30s. People find a way to be okay with that. Which one am I doing? Let's see here. Ah, I cover what you can of the False Sovereign's Origins. That's right. I did this other one. What was it? I guess that resolved the quest about the, the village. Love Doom Eternal. Never been so encouraged to get good for lore purposes. Yeah, it's pretty rare, right? It's it's a fun motivator for sure. I think that might be the the like the old school game influence in me. But beating a video game challenge to see the next like boss or world or cutscene, having your reward be uh like explosions of game assets. Curated game assets or just like getting to see new places. I, I always love <sighs> Oh, yeah New game plus uh, Paywall yeah, there was there was a little outrage at that wasn't there. How would you compare that? I can't really Are people matter it at this? Yeah, I don't know I wonder if anyone who beat the game was then unwilling or frustrated at having to to pay like five dollars for new game plus I was tiny in comparison it seemed pretty tiny people were bringing it up though I do remember that they're like hey this is weird that sucks it was mostly that that sucks yeah that sucks it's RGG though like if you yeah if you if you consider it for a moment you can't honestly look at something like infinite wealth and say that it's not generous with game content or that it's stingy in any way what's all this about i wonder what i'm what i'm to find hmm i have things to do if you don't mind 
Yeah, Fat Leon's the best. What brings you here? Yeah? What is it? We do love Fat Leon. <laughs> All caps is just perfect too. Yeah. Here, you're not interested in arriving at our destination, so I'll hold off on guiding us there for now. Why don't you the reason is capricious indeed. But don't despair. We shall count upon your guidance when the time comes. I'm gonna guess it gotta be in one of the houses, right? It's not just gonna be out here in the woods. Yeah, that's a good point, Captain. I mean that's that's a whole mode that's typically considered part of a game. And it was separated off into a purchase versus just consumable items that you can find pretty easily in game. Uh yeah, I mean treasure chest. I can hardly wait to open it. Oh, there was a gamer stretch. Thank you for your curiosity will be rewarded. Thank you for uh letting me know. Yeah, the thing that I'm learning is pointing out the inconsistency doesn't do anything. No harm in picking a few. Because the people who are acting inconsistently don't care. <laughs> if you point out their inconsistencies, they don't stop and be like, wait a minute, why is that? They're just like, shut up, that's it. So there's a lot of that happening on the internet. So I'm, I'm kind of learning to some degree that even though it's frustrating to perceive that there might be a better use for perceiving those instances than pointing them out, you know? Because no one likes hearing that. So how do you turn the awareness of those inconsistencies into some kind of constructive sentiment? I'm going to turn on that one. Take this. It is something I found. I wanted you to have it. Whew. Yeah, that's that's a really good point, Tombstone Tim. You can't talk about the internet like it's one blob. It is it is entire chunks of people. So I guess that's the thing. It's like Stating out loud the inconsistency is not the valuable thing. It's it's perhaps seeking out the factors that are different and then through that trying to trying to find a way to speak to the core issue. <sighs> Unfortunately for me, well let me think about this. So for me in my summation, which again may not be complete, but it just feels like it feels like the timing was bad. Uh Capcom maybe should have control the messaging tighter in terms of timing. Just give the game a week or two to sit undistracted out in the open, getting sales and reviews. Uh, cause, cause some, some of this shit seems awfully distracting. People weirdly don't get paranoid about releasing it later, even though that seems worse than having it available at launch, but everyone seemed to just roll with that a lot better than they're rolling with this. So do that, I guess. And then beyond that, you just have to like, I guess when it comes to the audience and messaging, you're just like, that sucks. That sucks, bro. I don't, I don't think I went into the end. Uh, I, guess, I guess if you wanted to, if you wanted to try to address the underlying sentiment, then maybe you, I don't know. This is the end. We've room to spare if you're looking to spend the night. That's effectively a take I saw on all this. RE4 had microtransactions, but they did them after launch, not at the time, so no one cared as much. Yeah, I just... I don't want to... I'm... I'm a... I never wanted to get to the point where... The, the larger gaming audience explicitly needs to be managed. But I'm pretty sure we're there. Of course. Nothing's free in this world. I would like for, you know... Um, transparency to always win is a battle of wits oh, nothing new would benefit us all if the roads were safer. Do stop by again. Huh. 
I was hoping there'd be something interesting in here. Oh, well, I guess I'm out of the zone. Maybe it has to be during the day? Hmm. Ooh, GNF redeemed a card. Man, I'm bad at this. Sorry, I was just checking the food incoming. Let's draw a card. Let's draw a card. Would you recommend getting this on a PC with a six core, four gigahertz Intel CPU, 64 gigabytes RAM. That's a lot of RAM and a 2070 eight gigabyte RAM video card or a PS5. Yeah, I don't know. I'm sorry, Josh. Um, but the problem is also the CPU you're describing could be a lot of different CPUs. A six core at four gigahertz Intel could could be modern. Yeah, maybe PS5. I don't know. It's not a bad video. Well, 2070. Yeah, probably PS5. Okay. Here you go. Here is your card. Tino Lettieri. Part of your soccer spikers. Is that Minnesota? Looks like it. Seems like the consensus is PS5. Uh, Tino was the starting goalkeeper for the 1985 to 86 MISL Eastern Division All-Star Team. He was named to the All-Star Team for the 86-87 season. Also played in Canada for the 84 Olympics. Hey oh, oh. Well, congratulations. A fierce player on the field and an absolute kitten off the field. Striker. I saw your message about just wanting to know which one it is. Too bad. You've got to take the card. It is your legal responsibility now. at its best 24 hours a day you're listening to the rp gamers network radio there we go although for real though if you if you truly don't care you could just reply to like i can chunk it in the trash that's the only alternative though okay and then i'll send you a video of me doing it until and try to make you feel like you're being very wasteful is he gonna play chronicles <sighs> can I get a good shot of Fat Leon? Yes, you can. This game is bad as I've been hearing. Uh, I don't think so. But you can decide for yourself. Alright, Fat Leon. I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be understanding. I'm trying to be permissive of, uh, of other perspectives. Looks like he's wearing a big old winter coat. I didn't figure, but I'm trying to decide if I want to buy it. Well, Hunter, this is a sponsored stream. So I'm, uh, I'm I'm making dough right now to convince I'm 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 professionally shilling at the moment. But that said, uh I was playing it yesterday. Shilling for free. Uh Mom, also my heart knows no greater peace than when I'm by your side. I think it's awesome. Well met. I think the game rocks. I think it it does have uh some performance issues at one very specific area in the game. The game is very large. Not all your time is spent there. I uh, can't really speak to performance on console. But I think it's great. I think there's a weird... I can't quite explain why there's been such a... such a, a sensitive reaction to this game specifically. Because it doesn't really do anything out of the ordinary. Um, maybe people are just fed up with the ordinary. Aha! 
a mysterious hole. Appreciate your swift return, master. A fell unease begins to gnaw at me when you are gone over long. Oh, they can't follow me into this hole? It's That's not our place to hurry the arisen. Interesting. Uh, I encourage you to to take a look. See for yourself. No harm in looking. More this is a core game and uh oh it tracks some more niche fan base. You know what? That could be. That could be. Uh when I posted about liking Dragon's Dogma on Twitter. It was the anime PFPs coming out, being like, this is dog shit. So yeah, maybe. I, I didn't think it was, I guess it's Capcom, so yeah. I didn't think it was that kind of thing, but maybe it's that kind of thing. Oh, are these teeter-totters? Dude. All right, Vin's gotta be light on his feet. Bruh. Oh, you like niche games and you liked the first one? Oh, then you are. You're in, you're made in the shade. Yeah, this is a game for you. If you like the first one, you're you're set. It's got a lot of uh, really good quality life improvements over the first game. I actually just... So I played the first game when it came out, but I didn't finish it. And I was always a big fan. I recently finally cycled back and played through the first game and Dark Arisen. So... I do appreciate a lot of improvements they've made. All right, hashtag chill though. Hunter, if I've talked to you into it, uh, if you're if you're playing on PC, uh, this, this stream, oh geez, this stream is sponsored by Capcom. So if you're playing on PC and you're in North America, uh, I'd appreciate it if you check out the sponsored link that I got, but if you're not in North America, I got, I got something else for you. I got something else for you. Your dirty Xbox gamer. Ah, okay. Ooh. You might want to. Okay, so so you might want to check performance on Xbox specifically first. But if you played the first one on console, I think you're fine. Uh, if you were fine with the performance of Dragon's Dogma on console back in the day. Uh. Uh. That's a whole secret society I just wandered into. I'm gonna save real quick. You made it after all. Srail. Guess that means I win. Oi, you lot best pay up. Dear me. Sizzler. You didn't disappoint, did you? You've done well. Seems only fair I answer any questions weighing on you. Fair. Uh. Ask away. What can I say? Not many people bother with this place. Luckily for me, you were different. Knew I was right to bet in favor of the Arisen. Anyway, most visitors get fooled into going up to the manor. They're talking about this like, th like they're examining the video game logic of it. In what most players do. We send them packing with a trifle, and if they don't question it, good riddance. Anyone that complacent has got no business being a thief. Hmm. We only train the rare few who make it here. Some might go so far as to say that the entire village was built around this spot. <laughs> that all you wanted to ask? Figures you'd want to know about him. Decoy Sovereign. We're supposed to be neutral. Ordinarily, I wouldn't say a word about one of our jobs. But I suppose I can tell you, the situation being what is. His real name is Dora. He was one of us, once. But he's been exiled. This dude is like, savoring all of his words. Like, he's, he's that... Cool kind of bad guy that just loves being evil. Just mm, every day. Mm, yum, yum, yum. <laughs> he's savoring wine. We had no choice, see? Mm. After he went off to play the false arisen, we're men and women of shadow. Center stage isn't our place to stand. 
That's why he was cast out. He'll near be part of our village again. I like this cat lady just clapping back there. I th is she... Is this like an Evangelion thing? His delivery's so good. He's so, like, campily evil. That all you wanted to ask? Ooh. There's a mod that enables hidden built-in DLSS3 frame gen. Hold on. Uh? Yeah, I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need that. It's it's hitting 120 most of the time, I feel like. For all this, Dara was in line to become the next thief maester. But he failed. Took a massive injury to the chest during the trial. So the title fell to me. Oh my. Oh my. The game's own hidden DLSS3. Huh. Huh. Yeah, maybe maybe they were working on getting it in, but it wasn't quite ready for prime time. So they were like, ah, oh, we'll just keep iterating and patching. Sounds like the kind of thing they'll they'll enable eventually. That will Yeah, gotta buy the DLSS3 DLC. Uh I feel like that's the kind of thing they'll probably patch in in like the first couple of weeks. Well fifthly Oh, okay. With an update later. Gotcha. Yeah. That's when he went off, saying he used the scar in his chest to pose as the Arisen. And what a oh. scheme that turned out to be, eh? Still, you'd have a hard time proving that he's not who he says. It's it's pretty good most of the time. Always was careful not to leave behind a shred of evidence. I guess frame gen would help. Yeah, frame gen would would butter over the the chunkier parts, and then. I feel like frame gen might be a bit odd in the city. Just kind of running around, but... but we can't have him thinking that he gets to go off and enjoy a peaceful life in the lap of luxury after breaking our code. Me thinks he needs something to remind him of the debt he owes us. Here, this should do the trick. Now, as to the maester's teaching, not sure you'll be able to use it to its fullest potential, but I'll show it to you. Okay, cool. I'm glad I did this before I went to the masquerade, because now I can I can spring that on him when I'm there. I hope that I hope it lets me. Hey, no problems, Hunter. Like honestly, that's one of the things that I like most about streaming is um, just being able to talk about games. To me, it's it's the magic of of making matching somebody to the game that they'll really enjoy. Oh. Yeah, his voice sounds like a twirling mustache. Tome detailing an exceptional ability for thieves. Use it to learn formless faint. Dick. I'm playing with a controller. Yeah, I, I'm i surprised Bruce is playing mouse keyboard. This feels like such a controller game to me. Any kind of like third person. My gratitude. <laughs> third person game, really. You're the one then. Fine. I'd hoped I'd not be seeing you here. Yeah, he's definitely a mouse keyboard enthusiast. I respect that. I respect that. A man with principles. Pelt flares. Got a little rat in there. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm pretty sure Bruce played uh, Elden Ring with mouse keyboard. That's awesome. I think he plays Diablo. Well, yeah, Diablo's mouse keyboard. Although Diablo is actually really good with a uh, controller. Ever since Diablo three, they really figured it out. Ah, that's what that door is. I wasn't worried for a moment. Wherever you go, we pawns will always find you. Arisen. Yeah. Uh -huh. Right.
want to see him in those in those pants. Show us your pants. Ooh. Surely we can ask for no more than that. It doesn't make it, ah, his legs don't look quite as stupid in them. They are kind of saggy at the knees though, and I do like that. Is Fat Leon your personal pawn? No, Pebble. Pebble's my man. Okay. Turn to Captain Brandt. So I yeah. Yeah, it wants me to go back. What an interesting, quirky little place. <sighs> okay, do I run back? Do I do I swipe my credit card and teleport? I'm I'm considering using a fairy stone to go back. Is it's nighttime? Wait, is it wait. Is it becoming night or is it becoming day? I probably shouldn't stress the uh, the passage of time so much. Is there any way to tell what time of day it is? Apart from yeah, looking up? If you please. Are you sending me? Dwight the Pebble Boner. Yeah, that's it. I think it's, I think the sun is coming up. Yeah. Well, where's Fat Leon bringing me? Oh, he's, I guess, I think he's just going to try to run me all the way back to, uh, there are useful ingredients to be gathered here, old wager. Yeah, I think he's just going to try to trot me all the way back. I might as well. I might as well run. Get any downtime for TV shows? A little bit. Uh, I, I saw the first episode of Shogun. Uh, truth be told, Steph is, is pretty deep into Housewives at this point. She's just discovered the Housewives of Salt Lake City. I put my finger on it, but all's changed with this place. So that's... Uh, that's... Those are the chronicles I've been in. Map have? Maybe? It could be the cause. Alright, folks, my, further investigation. my dinner has arrived. You'll be shocked to know that I, I ordered yet another chicken bowl. My life is chicken bowls these days. Bowls of chicken. Any performance issues? Not really, uh, one bad Joe foe. The the frame rates do drop a little bit in the, the like capital city over here. In uh, in Vernworth. But I'm of the opinion that it makes sense. Like the, the it's a really cool place. Oh, uh. <laughs> the sun's rays will grace us anew. Bustling NPCs. When I started playing earlier today, a cyclops wandered into Vernworth, and like ten, like ten guards swarmed it and started stabbing it and stuff. So there's there's a there's a lot going on. It's actually like kind of an impressive simulation. So I uh, I don't know. It's within bounds for me. It like it dips, yes, but there's a lot of cool shit going on. Uh, BDM Steelbane, thank you for the cheer. Doom Patrol DC show, ah, yeah, peep, that that seemed pretty cool. Seemed pretty quirky. Have to do my month. Mothers be aware. Month. Mothers be. Aware. Yeah, it's a CPU bottleneck. Yeah, it's the AI. It's also just like doing a lot of calculations for all those all those characters and models and stuff. You can't have him be clipping through the floor or walking into the wall and all that shit. All right, my food's here. Chicken bowl. So I'm going to go get my chicken bowl on. Uh, I'll be back soon. More Dragon's Dogma. Happy Friday, everyone. Uh, thank you, thanks again. Shoutouts to Capcom for sponsoring the stream. Shoutouts to Dragon's Dogma. This game's phenomenal. Uh, I'm really, really enjoying it. Having a great time. Uh, I hope you're having a good time watching. We'll be back soon. Uh, also, courtesy of courtesy of the sponsorship in Capcom. It is Friday, but I'm going to let me... It's time to kick ass and chew bubblegum. And I'm all out of bubblegum. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're, oh, your monthly Mother's Be Aware Classic Funhouse. Gotcha. Gotcha. Watch the, uh, the compilation video. It's always fun to have a narrative, right? All right. Uh, yes. Thanks to Capcom. Uh, Dragon's Dogma rocks. If you're interested, please use the DD2 command. Uh, uh, funky forums. I'm glad you enjoyed the stream yesterday and, uh, I'll be back soon after I, I'll be all tanked up on chicken. So enjoy the break and uh, I'll see y'all later.
It's always a challenge when approaching the creation of a new game. There is pressure to do something different, to lead the way, to deliver even better characters, environments and stories. Over the years with Tomb Raider, each adventure has broken new ground and taken the player to even more exotic locations and arenas. And now onto a new arena with the next generation console. Our vision is, is to take the player somewhere dark, a place they might not necessarily wish to go, but a place that they'll have to venture if they want to bring Lara back. This world is from the imagination, but based in reality. A dark world. A dangerous world. A world that reflects the change in Lara. It will be a new experience, one that will almost be shocking to people who have played Tomb Raider in the past. From the catacombs of the Louvre to the alleys of Prague, we searched for the seedier side of life. A world that you wouldn't normally see Lara in, but a world that she has no choice but to inhabit. Like her audience, like the game's consoles themselves, Lara has grown up. Her experiences in Tomb Raider 4 have forced her to question herself. This game will ask more questions of her. It was a very conscious decision to leave out elements of Lara's story since Tomb Raider 4. Certain aspects of that story will return. It's just a matter of when and where. For the first time Lara will have a moral choice to make. It's no longer a clear cut case of good versus evil. This is a more complex tale which will ask more complex questions of the player. The player controls how the story develops much more than in previous Tomb Raiders. Basically, when Lara talks to a character, the player can also choose whether Lara is nice, nasty, or dismissive to another character. But I'm much too strong and you're much too smart to let that happen to your chances to explore parts of the new age just behind the doors of your mind. You're the posse of the future and you hold in your brain things never thought of before. And in time, you'll teach us so much more. That's why I'm here and what I'm fighting for. Don't copy. Don't copy that fluffy. Now let me introduce you to some of the team. They'll explain a little more about what I mean. The game I just finished working on is called uh, Neverwinter Nights. And it's an online version of a Dungeons & Dragons game. Different people around the country can sit at their computers and play this game together. A team of people will contribute different parts. The graphics people will do the pictures, the sound people will do the sound or the, uh, the sound effects or the music that you hear, and the programmer actually ties all that together to make the complete game. By the time you add up all the people that are involved in creating an application, you'll end up with as many as 20 or 30 people. It's fun work, it's challenging work. Uh, I get a, a thrill out of seeing ac something actually working, something that I put together. And when it actually starts to work, you, you may hear me yelling down the hall, it's working, it's working. There are great advantages to owning the original piece of software. For example, there'll be documentation and manuals that'll come with it. Normally you have instructions, you also have warranties. You also have, in some cases, upgrades, if there are upgrades. We're available to you. You can call us on the phone and, and we'll answer your questions that might come up about the software. Any kind of technical support you might have or need, we'll be there to help you. If people keep stealing the game, the company makes less money, and therefore it may not want to make new games. So we might say, well, that didn't sell very well. They don't like it. We won't make any more of those. As a result of that, a tremendous amount of money and revenue is lost by the computer industry from this happening. Although the licenses may vary, the law is very simple. The copyright law says that when you buy a piece of software, you can put that software on one computer, and that's it. You can make a backup copy of the software, but you can't give that backup copy to a friend, and you can't put it on another computer. Every program that you buy, that's one program for one computer. We need you to be a part of our team also. The team of people who design and create the games are excited about the prospects for the future. And if you purchase your software instead of getting it illegally, you help make that future possible. Golly, Disneyland looks swell this morning. Morning, Daddy. Everything neat and pretty. We only have uh, five, uh, I mean, <laughs> five minutes till the park opens. Good morning and welcome to Disneyland. 
All of us here at the happiest place on Earth are glad to have you as our guests on this special day. Well, welcome aboard the world-famous Jungle Cruise, folks. This is an African bull elephant, the second most feared animal in the entire jungle. Whoa. And over here, that's the most feared animal in the jungle, his mother-in-law. <laughs> Looks like one of them is going to rush the boat. Take that. And that. Pirates of the Caribbean, and there's the captain himself. A little cast off, Missy. Full speed ahead. Blast it, me! You're not bothered by a mere cannonball. Oh, the big ones, Captain. What be I offered for this winsome wedge? We want the red Think she's taking a fancy to me? Nonsense. Tis I. Let's fire in again, Captain. Get a hold of yourself, Smee. It's getting dangerous, Smee. Nice, relaxing train ride. Wonder why they call it Thunder Mouth? <laughs> Chamber of Secrets. Now with 19 additional scenes. Own it on DVD or video. seems to be moving faster than ever. And Americans have rediscovered 
are redefining what's really important in their lives. They want quality in their personal life, in their business life, in the goods they purchase, and in the food they eat. They want good, basic home cooking, quality food, and they want choices, variety, all at a reasonable price. Americans want value. Welcome to Bromberg, the haunted castle. Once the forbidden residence of Dracula, Prince of Darkness, Kronberg Castle now offers you a very special tour. Be sure to follow the assigned route and touch nothing. Nothing. Your guide awaits you at the top. Who's there? Who's there? You must be crazy to be out on a night like this. It's late. Very late. But don't stay after midnight. I'm warning you, not after midnight. Well, have a nice ride then. <laughs> to clean it all up. Oh, dear. You survived? Are you alive? Well, we'll soon see about that. Where are the lights?
Great job. Capture the excitement of real stock car racing. You control the steering. You set the pace. Now take them in the high bank curve at full speed. Turn the wheel to change lanes. Steer to pass. And steer to block. Now try to steer clear before you hit the danger zone. Total control racing. TCR high bank speedway from Tyco. Oh, botheration. Where is that lazy good for nothing? Red Bear! Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Look at them all, reveling in their dreams, wallowing in the sleep of the innocent, mocking me with their nighttime flights of fancy. You rang the start cap, sir. Threadbare, I am sorry. Did I wake you? No, master. Are you sure? You weren't just having a little snoozy woozy. No, a oh, great one. Good. That would be typical of you, indulging in your most basic desires for sleep, but I need you to carry out my audacious and brilliant plan. Plan, master? Yes, alert the hoodwinks. I want them to kidnap all the winks and lock them up. Sure. You heard, Threadbear. If I can't get a good night's sleep, then why should anyone else? From now on, sweet dreams have been cancelled. Magic motion, batteries not included. <laughs> the happy friends for I am a scarecrow my head is full of straw so I'm not very smart don't be afraid everyone is welcome Tony Barnes Tony Barnes the farmer's son Tony Barnes Tony Barnes here at the farm we are all friends we can drink every day <laughs> what's the cow doing all day it's the monkeys from, from the city. <laughs> Today they're gonna teach us a new dance called the Funny Monkey Dance. The Funny Monkey Dance. Let's pretend to be an animal. 
here at the Happy Friends Farm. Hey, hey, what a beautiful horse. Running all day with no problem, of course. What should we do for fun? Why don't we roll on the ground? Oh, yes, let's roll on the ground. The farmer in the dale. The farmer in the dale. So you got to spend a whole day with us here at the Happy Friends Farm. Good night. Do the funny monkey, monkey dance. This is a kickflip. Can you do it? Do an ollie with your fingers sticking to the edge of the board. Apply more pressure on the edge than in the middle. After you get up in the air, the board will release from your fingers and start to flip. After the board flips all the way back to right side up, slam your fingers back onto the deck and ride away. You've just pulled off one of the hardest moves. For a really big challenge, try to kick flip onto a ramp and then ollie off. The explosion should destroy them both. Jerry, wait a minute. There, there must be another way. Jim, Jim, it's all my fault you're in this mess to begin with, and I'm going to make it up to you if it's the last thing I ever do. No. no. Goodbye, Gemini. Don't, Don't do, do it. it. I'm releasing full energy. I just hope that circuit lasts long enough. But if it doesn't, you'll be trapped forever. If Jerry's willing to risk his life for us, I'm willing to do the same for him. I agree.
listen, ladies, this is just between us. Do you love the look of sleeveless dresses, but uh, hate the look of your arms? Then you need Amazing Arms, the barely there light as air fashion wear that lets you wear any sleeveless outfit in your closet and look amazing. Simply slip on Amazing Arms and fasten under your bust. Your arms will go from looking flabby to fabulous in seconds. The secret is an amazing, lightweight, four-way stretch technology that gives your arms a slim, beautiful appearance and blends in with any outfit. Amazing Arms instantly conceals wrinkles, lab, unsightly blemishes, and won't give you back bulges. Amazing Arms is super sheer, super light, and so super comfortable, it feels like a second skin. Just put it on and that arm fat is gone. We all suffer from the same skin issues when we get a little older, and mostly it's the flab under this arm. Amazing Arms covers that issue completely, and you can wear anything you want with absolute confidence. My arms are very heavy and flabby, but when I put Amazing Arms on, they look much thinner and slimmer. I was humiliated by my arms. You would never see me in anything sleeveless, ever. Now that I have Amazing Arms, I can go shopping with the confidence knowing I look good in everything. No more bingo arms. No more bulky sweaters. Beware of expensive, uncomfortable imitations. Now you can get Amazing Arms in black for just $19.95. But that's not all. You'll also get Amazing Arms in pearl as a special bonus. And if you call within the next 10 minutes, you'll get one more Amazing Arms in elegant lace. Absolutely free. Imagine that's three Amazing Arms to go with any dress in your closet. A $60 value for only $19.95. Which would you rather have? This or this? Order Amazing Arms today. Beautiful day, ain't it? Always a beautiful day in Harmony. Sure is. Miguel, where are you guys headed? Drop Miguel down at the docks. I'm going to look for a summer job. I could use your help right here. Really? He's already got a job. No, I don't. See you later, Silvino. All right. What are you doing? It's bad enough that Mama cleans their mansion. There's no way I'm letting my little brother be a gardener for the damn cranes. Everyone loves the mesmerizing beauty of an aquarium, but nobody loves having to clean that aquarium when it gets dirty. Not it! Introducing Aquamagic, the aquarium that cleans itself. No cords, no batteries, no filters. With a regular aquarium, dirt gets trapped on the bottom. But with Aquamagic, waste works its way through the rocks and becomes trapped in a specially designed reservoir. You simply pour clean water into the top and watch as the magic of hydrostatic equilibrium flushes out the trapped waste. Watch that again. Fresh, clean water goes in. The waste trapped in the bottom is forced up and dirty water comes out. It's so easy the kids can do it and they'll want to. You don't even have to remove the fish. He's perfectly safe inside. Which means you don't have to remove the stones or decorations either. And the wastewater collects neatly in the cup for easy disposal later. 
Aquamagic is ideal for college kids because it's maintenance free and it lets adults enjoy a pet fish without all the hassle. It makes a great conversation piece in any living room or den and is an attractive accent for any office or workspace. You could pay as much as $60 for a fancy aquarium and you still have to clean it when it gets dirty. Not it. But right now, you can get Aquamagic, the aquarium that cleans itself, for the special TV price of just $19.99. Call now. We'll also include our LED display light and these beautiful riverbed stones as a bonus. But wait, call right now and we'll double your entire order. That's two Aquamagic aquariums, LED lights, and riverbed stones for $19.99. Just pay separate processing and handling. Magic times two, $19.99. You must be 18 or older to order. Choppers, Charlie. This is my gun, Clyde. Clint Eastwood's the only honest cop on the force in the TV premiere of A Gauntlet. Exactly's gotta be stopped. Stopped hard. Open He's fire. bucking a corrupt system with Sandra Locke, a witness against the mob. Together, they've got everybody trying to kill him. Sunday. Want to be part of the election process? Circle Tuesday, November 4th on your calendar as a reminder to vote. Then vote. Flour, whole grain wheat and rye, bran and flaxseed meal make Roman meal products light brown and delicious. In each product baked by Roman meal, there's something you can see. The color of the wheat and bran and rye, it's there naturally. You'll find Roman meal breads and other fresh baked products in the Roman meal section. The 1932 Chrysler Convertible, the 1947 Chevy Station Wagon, the first Ford Thunderbird. Regular maintenance keeps these classics running smoothly. So get regular maintenance for your car at your independent Texaco retailer with quality products like Haviland Supreme. That can help you get good gas mileage, too. I say, that's not a classic car. No, but it's gonna be. Trust your car to the products of the star.
Woody and Bugs Hour will return after these messages. Will you be the one to witness the birth of the incredible Nintendo Entertainment System? The first to play with Rob, the extraordinary video robot. Batteries not included. He follows the commands you put on the screen, so you get to the dynamite before it explodes. Will you be the one to raise the incredibly accurate zapper and play games like Duck Hunt? Will you be the one to experience the Nintendo Entertainment System? Comes with Rob, zapper, control deck, two controllers, gyromite, and Duck Hunt. If there's blossom in the foreground and an oriental temple in the background, then it must be springtime in Japan, and it is. It must also be the beginning of the new series of Database, and it's that too. Welcome. If you haven't caught the show before, welcome to ITV's Information Technology Program. Required viewing, if you like, if you happen to own a home micro or are just generally interested in the future of computers and computing. Now, I'll be telling you why we're in Japan in just a moment's time, but first, let's look to the end of the programme. At the end of each programme in this series, we're going to be transmitting some data of particular interest to owners of home micros. Now, the data will be particular for a certain micro each week. This week, it's the BBC machine. So if you want to record that data, stand by with a cassette recorder or just make a video copy of the programme. But back to Japan. Unlike all good tourists, the first thing to do is to go shopping. I don't know whether they have any Sunday trading laws in Japan, but if they do, they hardly seem to enforce them, because this is a typical Sunday afternoon in Tokyo, and as you can see, everything is going full blast. And as you can well imagine, being Japan, most of the activity here is centred on selling electric and electronic goods in this sort of form, street market form. In fact, this is the equivalent of those shops and stores we used to have in Britain back in the 50s and 60s, the sort of place where you might buy old radio valves or defunct radio chassis. Well, you can still buy all those things, as well as the latest state-of-the-art televisions and cassette recorders, but you can buy some other rather important things as well. Roy Rogers presents Hunters for the Lost Kids' Meals. How did Roy's kids' meals disappear? Good picture, animal. Look, I told you, some big creature took them. Right. Did some strange creature take them? One thing's for sure, everyone wants Roy's kids' meals, because now each one comes with a special hide-and-keep dino. They come in neat shapes and cool colors. You can discover all four. Where's the big creature who took them? <laughs> New Smurf Magic Berries, that fruity cereal with marshmallow stars, will be marshmallow in mine! Gargamel took our cereal! It's a six with my marshmallow stars. You'll feel the pinch. Ouch! My marshmallow stars make everyone love New Smurf Magic Berry cereal, part of this nutritious breakfast. Oh. Yummy, gummy, Smurf, gummy goodies candy, fruity flavored and free. In each Smurf Magic Berry cereal box, Smurf specially.
Nowhere in his books do we find traditional government. Real power is in the hands of the Zaibatsus, the multinationals. The Zaibatsus, the multinationals that shaped the course of human history, had transcended old barriers, hives with cybernetic memories, vast single organisms, their DNA coated in silicon. Kingpins in a given industry would be both more and less than people. A gradual and willing accommodation of the machine, the system, the parent organism. I think we're moving toward a world where all the consumers under a certain age would probably tend to identify more with their consumer status or with the products they they consume than they would than they would with a with a you know with any sort of antiquated notion of nationality. Mm. People are we're increasingly sort of interchangeable. When William Gibson's visions were published, they struck sparks in the real world. Scientists and hackers had found a future they couldn't wait to build, couldn't wait to live in, couldn't wait to sell. William Gibson, godfather of cyberpunk, found himself in a situation where he was actually programming the future. Never before had science fiction literature determined the way people thought and spoke about new technology. This synthesis of fiction and fact proved to be of value to each. And now, Cyberpunk is a movement, looking set to blast toward the millennium. Shock, Neo Geo. Eating bulldog. What the French toast? Did you think I wouldn't find out about your little doo doo head cootie queen? Who are you calling a cootie queen, you lint liquor? Pickle you, come quack! You're overreacting. No, Bill, overreacting was when I put your convertible into a wood chipper. Stinky McStink face! You hoboken. Fabulous! New orbit raspberry mint cleans another dirty mouth. For a good clean feeling, no matter what. What you are about to see is a vivid recreation of the struggle of war in the South Pacific.
Welcome back to Flights of Fantasy. The Square Ordeal isn't the only controversy in the gaming industry right now. In fact, this one has been going on for some time. Here are our thoughts on a subject that will affect both kids and parents. Violence in video games. It's been an issue that's faded in and out. The biggest controversy in video games of all time was centered around Mortal Kombat. Ironically, the movie was not criticized for violence. Fighting games are inherently violent, and they have saturated the market. The leading fighting games are, of course, the Mortal Kombat series, the Street Fighter series, and Killer Instinct. The violence level in all of these games is relatively the same, although Street Fighter generally has less graphic violence. Resident Evil is not a fighting game, but it is a very violent one. You have to shoot zombies several times to kill them, and the ultra-realistic animation and sound effects don't butter this over. Savage dogs burst through windows and try to tear you to shreds. Zombies eat members of your task force. This game is violent, but it has to be. The main idea of the game is to scare you. When those dogs first jump out at you, you jump three feet high. If this were a movie, you'd wet your pants. You're stranded in this spooky mansion, and you can't go outside because you'll get eaten alive by God knows what. Is the violence in these games wrong? It's really hard for us to say that it's wrong. As for street fighting games, though, we definitely think they lack substance. Adding cinema scenes after every battle would change that to some extent. Then the games wouldn't be 100% fighting. If you think our games are bad, then you wouldn't believe the violence in Japanese games. Some games are never released over here for that exact reason. Yet in Japan, violent crimes almost never happen. And if you don't believe us, do the research yourself. Violence in video games is not a problem for the majority of people. But that doesn't mean we should ignore the issue. It's up to parents to monitor the games their younger kids play, just as they would monitor whether or not their kids see PG-13 movies. Games are rated nowadays, and even if they weren't rated, parents could still tell which games are violent. It's called looking at the back of the box, or just reading the title. Killer Instinct. Street Fighter. Mortal Kombat. Come on, folks. It couldn't be more obvious. On the bright side, the vast majority of video games are rated KA, kids to adults. So all those news stories you've heard about violent video games, they're talking about a minority, something that hasn't been addressed. To be fair, though, the sales figures of these games aren't in the minority. This argument could go back and forth forever. The point is, just to be informed so you can make an informed decision. And that's one of the principles on which Flights of Fantasy was founded. That's it for this edition of Flights of Fantasy. Before we go, I'd like to say thank you to all of our loyal viewers out there. We've been having a heck of a time getting other stations to see what this show is all about. But you know, and we know, that we're providing you with the information you need to make the best decision for your entertainment dollar. We're going to leave you now with some clips from Walt Disney's Oliver and Company, out now on video. I'm George Wood. I'll see you in the future. Hey, yo, buckle up. Don't even press your luck. I can tell you over and over, but it won't be enough. Some say it ain't cool, but that's irrelevant. Don't be a fool. Say you don't need it. You must be crazy. A lot of other people thought they knew. It happened to them, and it can happen to you. So buckle up. Hey, yo, we all wear our safety belts. I didn't. This is Epcot Center. Epcot Center at Walt Disney World in Florida. Now return to From All of Us to All of You. Our story continues after these messages. Remember when times were simple? Another beautiful day. People were friendly. Take care. See you soon. Bye. And neighbor looked out for neighbor. I'm obliged. You can journey back to those days with WTZA. Give my regards to your folks. And the Ingalls family for the heartwarming adventures of Little House on the Prairie. Weekdays at 5 here on WTZA.
Now, before the first week of Video Power ends, we have some business to take care of. First, I gotta remind you all about the Video Power Bulletin Board. Send in stuff you'd like to see on Video Power. P.O. Box 896 Madison Square Station, New York, New York, 10159. Next week, a Dick Tracy preview, a review of Maniac Mansion, and Mega Man 3, and tons of tips from the Video Power Edge. That's Video Power. Bimbo of the Decade, Humor God, The Really Big Album, Mega Artists of the 80s, and more. The people and the events that made the 80s one of the wildest decades ever. Watch and decide who or what really rates on MTV's Rate the 80s special. Hosted by Paul Schaefer and his guests Martha Quinn, Salt and Peppa, the Club MTV Dancers, and more. The Rate the 80s nomination show, tonight at 9, 8 central, only on MTV. When you get engaged, you want to find the right words. What do you say we go off when we get married? We could go to Niagara Falls, yeah? You also oh, want to find the right diamond. I think we'd make a successful merger. Well, let's go off to the ranch and get hitched. <laughs> but how much do you spend on a diamond for the woman you love? Forget it. A good guideline is two months' salary. Will you marry me? Yes. Yes. Ask the Jewelers yes. of America about the two-month salary guideline. A diamond is forever. You always liked the falls, didn't you? Hey, party monsters! Why you know they're in about 30 seconds? Got some party time tips for you from Extra Gold Draft. First, never party with anything less than the full tilt taste of Extra Gold. This is big time beer. Tip number two, you're at the bar. You're a little short of cash. Be resourceful. Welcome, folks. We got a $3 cover charge tonight. Go for the full tilt taste of Extra Gold. It's party time. <laughs> Diggy, 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 bong, diggy, bong.
可能にした数々の新システムを搭載ついにその全貌を表す今ナムコが送る本格 ＲＰＧ「スーパーファミコンナムコテイルズ・オブ・ファンタジア」。All right, thank you everyone for your patience. I would have been back a little bit earlier, but this crazy broad was, was throwing people's shoes overboard. All these. Okay. Oh, Jen? Oh, she's, she's faking. She just needs to get out of this situation. So there's a pretty next level meltdown happening on,、uh, on Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. One of, the, one of the characters has been indicted for fraud. And they're kind of like. Oh, yeah, Candle's almost out, by the way. Anyway, they're basically having a meltdown live on the show because they're, they're sort of like losing their grip on, on their own money and, and like their place in their friend group and shit. So,、uh, so anyway, she's also just being incredibly mean and, and like shitty to everyone. She just started hucking people's shoes overboard. Expensive. These are, these are posh ladies with expensive shoes, and she's just like acting.、Uh, acting out so hard. Oh, thank you, Pee Pee Poo Poo Monster. People on the internet get so weird with what they get mad at. Yeah, I've been trying to puzzle through that, to be honest. Because、um, you can point it out, but that, doesn't, that hardly does anything, right? It, it doesn't. No one. Like, sits back and re examines this,、well, their frustrations when it's pointed out to them. You get off to? So, I think, I think I'm going to devote some、uh, mental energies. Up, says Fat Leon.、Uh, I'm going to devote some mental energies to brainstorming maybe different kinds of media or different, different messaging or different approaches to, to this sort of happening. Because it, it's happening a lot, <laughs> it's happening more and more. So, I need, to, I need to develop a technique to talk about it that isn't condescending. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, damn! That was awesome. Sky2K, thank you very much for the raid. What is this? Oh, yeah. I'll turn you into a pin cushion. Yeah, I'm having, a, I'm having a great time. This game rocks. Oh, also, hashtag sponsored. This is a sponsored stream. Oh, I get a, a high level Bud Bud. Who's it gonna be? I'll carefully conserve my strength and endeavor to survive every battle by way of sound strategy and defensive tactics. Okay. Camp in Central Batal. I'm not even there. Sponsored by Real Housewives? Man, that would be something. Here's the problem this is gonna replace, this is gonna replace our little goblin friend. Maybe I just get. Maybe Captain's not in chat right now. We'll, we'll feign ignorance if Captain asks what happened. He killed something. Nice little fish. I should only hope I serve to satisfaction. Yeah, uh, pee pee, pee pee poo poo monster. Shall we discuss tactics now or later? Newfound strength courses through you. It's good to might there be aught over there. Uh, yeah, I wonder how best to proceed. I feel, I feel like I feel like get a grip. <laughs> get a grip is certainly my my reaction to the whole thing. Um, I don't know though, like that doesn't it doesn't that doesn't work. That doesn't to, turn any tides, it doesn't doesn't change any minds. Oh, you <laughs> I'd not say no to a short repose hereabouts. Perhaps we might take a moment to savor the scene. So it's, it's kind of tricky because. Woo! Woo! I consider part of, like, part of news reporting to represent what people are saying. And I guess ideally, if I were truly brave, truly brave, I would just leave it at that. Just a dry reporting of the facts. But nobody actually wants that. Nobody wants that. Must we run everywhere? 
You are an impatient one, Arisen. People have taken swipes at... Catch your breath, try to keep up. Hard news. People tune in for personality. It makes sense. Ooh. Super Mando. Consider myself honored to serve. Thanks for the sub. Uh, maybe it's more so just dunking on the freaks being mad. See, that's the thing, and I that's that's the cycle I want to get out of. Is like the 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 sport is thin. Whoop! When it comes to uh to dunking on the nerds, and certainly they don't like getting dunked on. So uh, I don't want that to become a shtick, and I don't think there's value in it. It's it's every bit as as hollow as as dunking on a video game for contrived reasons. So so what's the what's the virtuous path? <laughs> I don't know. I gotta figure it out. Oh, that's cool. Maybe I can shove him. Nope. annoyed by all the Starfield nonsense. I get the game had flaws, but I got shit on for loving it. Yeah. There's not, not a whole lot of live and let live out there. I have my qualms with Starfield as well, but uh I thought you might like this, so I picked it up. Here you go. There was definitely a crowd of people who were only interested in like elbow like elbowing each other and being like, get a load of Starfield. I mean I I could tell YouTube views were quite good. Some games are feeding frenzies. It's weird. Like there is a demand for content of a particular tone, but I like what's baffling is even in my line of work, I cannot find a trend. It, it, it just lands every so often. It's just like this random laser. And, and in retrospect, there's always attributes that make sense kind of. Yeah, <laughs> we certainly did a fair amount of dunking in this chat. Uh, I just realized it's kind of drafty. I'm going to go close the window. I'll be right back. How are Boulder and Pebble doing? Getting along marvelously, actually. A happy medium of good reporting and dunking. That's where we're at right now. Uh, Jason. That's, that's the mix. It's sort of like reporting, hopefully reporting fact and then giving opinion. Even though it's, it's hard to separate. The early griffin gets the worm, as they say. But, uh... I think I think maybe I'm thinking about it the wrong way. Uh, it's it's not like I can I can change or well I shouldn't tell myself that I can't contribute. But it's not like I think these these waves are beyond sentiment expressed in a YouTube video. So I need to be more of an observer and less of a how can I fix this kind of person. You think so, Morrissey? Well, I'm glad I'm glad to hear that. I try to strike a good balance. I try to keep things as, as like related to data and related to fact as possible, as opposed to just kind of what I noticed in games media is just a lot of restating sort of conventional thought. Ooh. Anyway, some games deserve getting destroyed, but I feel like everything is overly critical or is a puff piece these days. 
Yeah, yeah. The the sort of extremity of thought. People like passion. People like passionate anything. No matter what it is, they'll take the passionate version of it. That that as much makes sense to me and is fairly universal. I learned that a forgotten rift stone lies nearby. Oh. Shall I escort you there, master? You know what? No, we're good. We're good. Thank you though. Thank you for asking. Yeah, the way Outrage affects sales is pretty interesting, too. Sometimes it's connected, sometimes it's not. I tend to think that, um... I tend to think that in cases like Suicide Squad, I think that that game didn't perform well for reasons other than the gamer circle being mad at it. It was a fascinating tale those soldiers outside the palace were discussing. And, they, and it, it really... It has a little bit to do with the game itself, but it has nothing to do with the wokeness of its cutscenes. Uh, I just think that like DC's on a downtrend in general. I think that uh, even though it is superhero tinged, it's like not very, it's not like banner blockbuster protagonist type characters. It's four characters. It's just like, it doesn't have a strong branding. Um. Hunter, I actually liked Suicide Squad a lot, <laughs> so I was on the other side of that. I thought Suicide Squad was victim of people telling themselves the game was something it absolutely wasn't. Which is honestly, I see a lot of similar discussions about... I see discussions. I see people saying the same stuff about Dragon's Dogma 2. Accusing it of, of representing these ideas or of having these features that it just straight up doesn't have. This is most convenient. Another destination we were bound for is not far from here. We'll make our way there in time. I was supposed to go there. As to whether it will be sooner or later, that is for the Arisen to decide. But hey, whatever. I I will say, like, I get that Suicide Squad's not for everybody. I don't even like comics. I don't even like Suicide Squad. I think it's just dumb as hell. I liked the game. I thought it was pretty fun. But that's me. I don't know. I just maybe have a taste for it. Uh... But it, I definitely saw the the reasons people gave to to swear it off did not have anything to do with the actual game, and that's kind of aggravating to be around. Look, master, a treasure chest. We shall have to find a way to reach it. That's a weird thing to read over and over again. People choosing the thing that that makes the most sense, or maybe it's just like people just like being part of a cause or something. So we, no matter, like, they don't actually give a shit about the game, but it just feels good to hop on the internet. And All this way, only to find ourselves unawaited. Perhaps I the timing was awry. That screenshot of the HUD that went around? Yeah. Was that it? Is that all it takes? I don't know. I, f I feel like there are bigger mass market reasons. Uh... That's that was it in gamer circles. That was what made everybody convince themselves it was was all these things, for sure. Now I do remember that, but I, I actually think in mass it had it had bigger problems in the mass market, um, which is namely that like, I mean I guess it it, <laughs> I don't know, it tried. <laughs> it was a it was a kind of design by dry erase board kind of game. Might we have overlooked altered goblins, master? Goblins. Let's see. Oh, you guys got it. We've earned ourselves a pat on the back. No doubt this triumph will spur us into the next. Yeah, remember horse armor? Uh, oh, I might as well do this. Hopefully, the, I think the sun is going down. I always like to kind of let time pass naturally and find something to... What the hell? Oh, okay. Okay, I will. You know what? I've rambled enough about that. Ooh. Optics are a funny thing. Very volatile these days. So yeah, this so this is performance in the city. Actually, you know what? Let me turn DLSS off for a bit. Oh. 
Okay. That's pretty low. That's pretty low for a, a mid to high end gaming PC. But it looks real. It looks real good. There's all these NPCs walking around. Goblins just ran in. And I can just can take us to new heights. Walk into an interior. Walk out here. This is probably the place where the performance is the roughest. Gather round, gather round. Treat your ears to a tale by a master storyteller. And should my story entertain you, the frame rate is lower, but it's not for no reason. What's your CPU and GPU? Uh, GPU is a 4080. CPU I have listed on my Twitch page, I think, in the about section. I can't remember because it's, you know, it's like... GPU I have... That was weird. Uh, here. i5-13600K. That looks promising. Actually, here. Any ideas as to how we might reach it? What the fuck? You used to be able to tick always on top. There it is. All right. It's not, it's not, it's not cranking away at a hundred. So it's possible that they wrote an engine that doesn't truly scale up into high-end hardware for the sake of consoles. That is optimization work that you can kind of do later. It makes sense to me that they might have, have aimed for absolute stability, limiting themselves to the parallel processing of, anyway. I'm just theorizing in, an, in, a, in a vacuum right now. Hunter, thank you very much for the sub. Thank you, thank you. So I guess if you're looking at this and you're like, what? Well, I have so many more, I have so many more hertz. It's not using my hertz. I could, I, that makes sense to me. Why isn't it using my hertz? I paid for those hertz. Mentioned earlier, yeah, that doesn't take advantage of CPU cores or something. It's a bug. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. That does that kind of thing doesn't sound like a bug. Maybe it is. I don't think games are at the point yet where you can just turn on more cores and it magically distributes the the workload and everything just gets faster. But maybe I I don't know. I'm just I'm theorizing and speculating. She knew more about tech stuff. It's fun. I don't know. I don't know a ton. I wouldn't consider myself like a mega expert, especially with more modern stuff. But it's cool. Oh, bug is in performance inefficiency. They didn't optimize correctly. You've come. Glad to see you, friend. So, what say you? Would you care to live here in my absence? As I've said. You needn't worry about tending to the place. Many thanks, friend. I knew I could count on you. I'll stop by again in a week's time. Well, how was the chicken? Farewell. Wait, you were watching people get arrested. I want to know about this. Or is that pretty much it? Just sitting out on your balcony watching people get tucked into a squad car. What am I an expert on? Video games. All of them. Free house. I'm all for camping, but solid walls are a joy that can't be beat. And hours for a full week at no charge. What a steal. 
Fat Leon is delighted. Uh, I guess the... Maybe the, maybe the thing that I should couch... Or I should have... I should be more explicit about is... I personally have an affinity... For technically aggressive games. And I feel like it's something we're going to see a lot less of... In the near future. Hmm. Prize to duel. So, I don't know. I feel like, uh... It's worth enduring a, a, a frame drop here and there for a game that technically is doing some new things. Or... Doing some new things technically? Technica... Video gamely. You're an expert on Mass Effect games. Nice. I've been meaning to play through those again. I'm going too soon. I've been getting the tickle. It's been a while. I remember having a really good time with most of them. Oh, I forgot. Forgot to, uh... I should see how he looks in the scaled armor. Legendary collection's worth a grab. Yeah, that's probably the one I'll play. Although I, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a fan of, of like trashy, I'm a fan of trashy Mass Effect. So I would need that mod that restores all the booty shots. Actual Mass Effect needs to be a little bit grimy. Okay, let me think. So I can rest till nightfall, and then I think I'll hit up the Masquerade. I have to report to Brant for, I think, like, two different... Yeah, Masquerade, I'm the beggar. Okay. Yes, I will go to sleep. There are worse things than turning in early, I must say. Yeah, Callisto. Are you, th are you talking about Callisto Protocol? I don't know. I guess, you know what, going back to, uh, ooh, ah! Oh, this is an interesting, this is an interesting appraisal. Again, a bit, a bit of a shame the cat, or wait, who? Who did this go with? Hmm. It was hard to keep up with this Arisen's fickle temperament. The Arisen achieved a little, though not for want of trying. I've learned a hard lesson, and I shan't soon forget it. Some, some dumpo Arisens out there. Although, thank you for the Jasper, whoever sent that along. Oh, is this where your, um, your moniker... That's what that's for. So you can be like, yeah, I was Chomps, or whatever. Andromash, Violet, and Tyrant. Interesting. Remember Callisto Protocol's launch? Got destroyed on release because they patched in some serious performance issues. Somehow there was a regression and the patch got reversed. Took them almost a week to fix again, but the damage was done. Yeah, you're right. People were really harsh on that game. How much is a golden beetle worth? It was just as daunting to battle Cyclopes there as here. And taking aim at their eyes, no less thrilling. Oh yeah, stutters. No one was cool with those stutters, man. That is that is so harsh to think about. Could you could you imagine working on something for that long? And just because like something gets patched wrong or something gets fucked up. It's all whoosh, all gone. Everyone's sworn it off immediately. They forget it with a vengeance. They're like, fuck you. How dare you put this in front of me? <laughs> Devastated me and I'm not even on their team. Yeah, and I was thinking about Callisto today in in context of like 
one of those games where it's like, shouldn't this have been exactly what you wanted? Isn't this exactly the thing? You are mad nothing else is. But then when something is trying to be that, you attack it. You turn on it. You're mad at things for not being this, and when it is this, it's not this enough. It always has to be exactly... And this again, this is like, it, it feels like it keeps going back to this idea of just not being unwilling to compromise anything. If it's not every last check down my personal list, brother, you're going to hear about it. And I'm going to like make sure that other people get mad too. This candle's still going. I thought it was about to go out. Huh. Video of some Walmart stuff. Oh, okay, okay. Did watch your commercials for a bit. They gave me Nostalgia Overdrive. Yeah, it is kind of like a scattershot nostalgia generator. Okay, Masquerade Time. I'm excited to do this because I get to put on pretty clothes. Oh, Draper, you going to bed? All right. Have a good night. Thank you for watching. Sleep well. Sleep unburdened dreams. I need to sell these. God, I can hear these ladies arguing. They are arguing a lot. Portly breaches. Don thy breaches, Vin. Tonight, we parlay in the castle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need my I need my cape. All right. Is Vin in this game? I thought that was a meme. What do you mean? There he is. It's Calder from Last Witch Hunter. We all know Calder. But he's so large. All right. It's time to meet my destiny. May I have you learn aught of this scoundrel who would claim your title if you attend a palace masquerade. Thank you, Fat Leon. We're off to Vern with Palace then. <laughs> Fat Leon gets on my nerves, but I'm going to miss him someday. SK3284 is redeemed a gamer stretch. Let's do a little stretch. Let's do a little stretch. Yeah. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Did some, uh, I did some back stuff today, so it is good to shake out my shoulders. Everything kind of pops back into place. Uh, is Pebble too low level for Bruce? Oh, thank you for reminding me, actually, because I've learned some master thief techniques that I need to slot in for, for Pebble. What level is Bruce right now? He's, uh, he must be, he must be taken off. Have you business with the guild, sir? I should be glad... Yeah, here we go. Almost faint. Whoa, cool. <laughs> There's that explosion. That seems to set you on fire. Someone was asking about the ability to explode yourself. This seems pretty close. <laughs> okay. Cool. Got it. Yeah, I forgot I learned those. Great. Always a pleasure. Thank you, Arisen. I promise to wield this maester's teaching well and prove myself worthy of your faith. Indeed, Pebble. As long as you are my faithful sidekick and always lower in body mass and box office returns than I, we will get along quite well. 
faithful pebble. Radiance are plentiful hereabouts. He's right. I'd say we collect as much as we can carry. Kala. It seems we must part ways. Thank you for the 70 months of subs. What a nice round number that is. Vin is ecstatic. Beady little eyes. This is nice music. Please bring back Machinima ETC. I mean, that's internet today. I guess Kale isn't there. Kale has a, a Instagram channel though. He does some like tra a, like a travel experience kind of thing. He's really good at it. Hello, sir. Raid is already underway, sir. It will be a long night. Longer still for those of us on guard. Indeed, indeed. Time for Vin to make the scene in Vernworth Hall. What's that all about? I wonder if that cutscene played the first time I came in here. So, the first time I came here, for this quest specifically, I got mega stuck. Because uh, I would come to this masquerade ball, and it says, approach the false sovereign. And I'm like, he's not here. So, I sometimes I would just wait the whole party, just chit-chatting with people. And then everyone would just suddenly, like, start walking out, and the sun would come up. And I'd be like, oh. So, that was weird. Uh, but... Bruce gave me a top tip. Bruce gave me the top tips. Have you heard? There's to be more restrictions on goods traded with Batal. Apparently, even privately owned items will come to be curtailed soon. And this time, I have a warrant for the Sovereign's arrest. I'll be able to confront him with that. Whoa. I haven't seen that happen before. My list of Wait, <laughs> people are just barging in and out of this this hidden room. How did I not see that before? <laughs> I'm so annoyed with myself. There's just people like slamming the door. <laughs> anyway, there's a hidden door right here. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> oh, this game rocks. Oh. Is this like a spiritual successor to Skyrim? It's kind of not a bad way to think about it, really. It has more in common with Skyrim than it doesn't. Alright, hold on. Let me prepare myself. Whoa. Huh. Yeah, because when I was, um, previously when I was at the masquerade, oh yeah, I ran into her. You're... Ran into her when I was skulking through the castle grounds. What is it? Has something happened? Uh, we have it on good authority that a suspicious individual passed through here. We need to scout the area. I'll scout all the people. In here. Open up. Hey, no worries, Peek. Thanks for thanks for using it. You're dressed rather austerely for a patron. My humblest apologies, Lady Wilhelmina. We've had reports of an unseemly character in the vicinity, you see, and preposterous. I was out front till but a moment ago, and I did not see so much as a shadow. Be that as it may. You are excused. Leave this place. Ere you invite our noble host wrath upon yourself, I will summon you if aught is amiss. Sell my semen still up. Well, business is good if that's what you're referring to, but as far as the website goes, let's see. Have you here? Yep. <laughs> still works. 
Hmm? Looks like they're still cashing my checks. Leave the face of someone in search of a juicy morsel. Would you be looking for this, perchance? Come on, then. Keep pouring. Do you take me for some green lad who can't handle his cups? I'm your damned king, and a king deserves royal treatment. <laughs> <laughs> of course, your majesty. Tell us, your majesty, would you prefer more drink, or shall we find some other way to amuse ourselves? <laughs> aye, aye. Let's change things up. <laughs> 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 I believe I cautioned you to keep your drunken revelry in check. Lest you forget, these celebrations of your valor are but a pretense for more serious matters. I, I know. I do. It's just I get the poison in me and things happen is all. You need only serve as our false king until Sven becomes consul. Till then, however... You would do well to remember that your role demands a certain degree of dignity. I trust you understand your position, your majesty. I love his dipshit goatee. Uh, Kalena, thank you very much for gifting a sub to Urban Squatch. Why not remove yours as well? This is not the masquerade hall. And we now find ourselves quite alone. What say we dispense with such pretenses and speak openly with one another? Lord Phasus. Who's that? Lord Phasus. That will do. If you're discovered, yours won't be the only head that rolls. What is your purpose here, I wonder? If you came to learn of the Sovereign, then tis as you have seen. The man is not but a ale-swilling pretender propped up by the Queen Regent. Of course, that begs the question. If he's a mere mummer, then where might our true arisen be? You'd best go. I'll do what I can to help you make your escape. Man, the Arisen is really captivating in these scenes. I run an establishment that caters to certain pleasures. You're welcome to come and play any time, if you escape with your life, that is. Know, however, that our services do not come cheap. Ooh. The Bordellerie is an establishment that caters to the vices of the nobility and the wealthy elite. A card of membership is required to gain entry to the Bordellerie, and its services are only available to those who can afford them. Courtesans to please various tastes can be found on every floor, but the services of those on the third floor are not available to new visitors to the establishment. Only prized patrons who make frequent use <laughs> <laughs> of the Bordellery's services are entitled to purchase the Platinum card that will allow them to enjoy the company of these exclusive courtesans. <clears throat> you can level up. Banging. And yet. That's nice. I gotta rank up my, uh... What if you had a stamp card or something? That'd be awesome. Yeah, right, Ninetailed? I was just thinking that. The Steam reviews sure don't seem to match. <laughs> These features should be killer. Alright, oh yeah, I gotta get out of here. I'll see you later. Is this where you've been all this time? It is rather far from where we agreed to meet up. <laughs> so sassy. Take care not to stray so far next time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was. Hey, you guys don't even know what I saw. I saw some stuff. Yeah, hog cranking is leveled up. 
Okay. Yeah, it's just turning all these quests in, basically. Let's see, uh, let's see Bruce scoff at my pawn after I turn on all these quests, huh? Oh, good night, Hunter. See you later. Thanks for watching. Bruce mentions he uses a beefy rig to play this game. Is there a specs list or video to duplicate Bruce's PC build? I don't, I don't know what Bruce's specs are, to be honest. He might have something on his YouTube channel. There's a ladder here. They love pointing out those ladders. Hold on a second, I'll be right back. It's really important when I'm working hard to take a few minutes each day to relax, to center, and try to refocus myself. You got a friend who works at Super Rock FM? Get concert tickets to any concert. Front row. Well, why don't you take him then? Got some cobwebs on you. How long have you been here? Three years. Three years? Yep. So what's your favorite game at the moment then? My favorite game at the moment must be Starwing. Starwing, good game, good game. Bad. Come here. Have you been on Games Master at Games? Yeah, I'm back. Sorry about that. I got raptured for a minute, but I said no, I have to go back. Because I want to play Dragon's Dogma. I want to drag a dogma. Whoops. I did not think I'd be back here. Sorry about that. A long one, but here we are at last. <laughs> PKO Net and uh, Lithium 404. Thank you both for the subs. You know we're dogging that dragon. Whoop. You know we're dogman, dogman that dragon. There is much we ought to tend to if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. Oh, that's, this is a whole cutscene. Well, well. He is merely Deesa's puppet, then. Tis likely that he knows naught of her schemes, even were he to be removed. I suspect some other would simply be made to take his place. But if there's aught that compels my attention, tis this other man you mention. Phasus, was it? Phasus. He seems a man of import, and yet, I have never heard of him. Pray, allow me to investigate this matter further. You've done well, Your Majesty. I'm gonna be bummed if, like, Brant is in it for himself at the end or something like that. Bar alum, thanks for the sub. You look terrible. How dare you? Versa Light, thanks for the cheer. Beginner learning to build a gaming PC? Ah, Bruce kept mentioning his insane build. Is your build essentially for most games? Uh, I would say mine's a little bit more than you'd need for most games. It really, uh, it depends what your budget is. It depends what your budget is and, and like, I guess maybe to some degree what, what level of fidelity you even care about. Uh, Cause people have different preferences when it comes to like resolutions or frame rates. Like some people don't mind 60. And would rather play in 4K. Other, people, you know, there's a whole lot of stuff about it. I would say that mine, mine and Queen Regent Deesa and this Phasers fellow are all working together. It's quite the sordid trio, eh? Mystifying. My build is kind of specifically a little bit, uh, a little, 
it's a little light on the CPU power because uh, I have a case that's hard to vent heat in. So I had I had another beefier CPU, but it was like thermal throttling all the time. So I kind of dialed back on that because honestly, most games are not CPU gated these days, even still. Uh, this game, I guess, would beg to differ, but that that could be an optimization thing. There is much we ought to tend to if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. Have you divined aught of the false sovereign, your majesty? This appears to be a bill calling for the arrest of a man named Dara. But hold a moment. Does this man's countenance not bear an uncanny resemblance to that of the false sovereign? Hmm. I see. If your majesty is certain that the two are one and the same, then I am convinced as well. However, I'm afraid this paper alone does not constitute sufficient proof. Ah, but of course. I surmise your majesty intends to post the bill and invite suspicion. A new CPU is more expensive than a new case. Yes. But not if you factor in my bizarre emotional attachment to the case that I have now. It's kind of a ship of Theseus thing. As long as I have the same case, it's the same PC. A clever plan. The Queen Regent will be forced to deny any connection to our new sovereign, yet will be unable to remove the bill from the public eye. Furthermore, it will serve as an attestation to Dara's existence, which shall remain an undeniable truth till the man resurfaces, and all the while, the doubts lurking in the hearts of the citizenry will continue to deepen. A clever ploy, indeed. I shall attend to this matter personally. I have no doubt that this bill would prove its worth in due course. You have my gratitude, Your Majesty. Your aid has been invaluable. That thief maester's a capable sort. Dragon is like rather difficult for the Queen Regent. What is that? Hey, Versalite, thanks for gifting a sub to Frozen Rage. Dragon's Gaze. If you use the item known as the Dragon's Gaze, Wakestone Shards will be displayed on your map. Bear in mind, however, that the number and location of shards that can be found will change over time. Like three Wakestone Shards, they'll combine to form a Wakestone. Powerful artifact can restore life to the Fallen. Now available. One dollar. Interesting. Does It doesn't consume it, does it? Huh. Okay. Cool. Alright. Neat. Neat. They look they look chunky. I'm glad I know those are wakestone shards. Okay, yeah. Huh. Okay. It's not that heavy, I guess. Vin the King. Yeah, I again I was in character at that moment, and I was scrolling and I was like, what would Vin pick for himself? There is much we ought to tend to if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. Because this might shock you, Calder was not available. Kind of nuts, this game on Steam alone did almost Helldivers 2 level of players. Meanwhile, Horizon Zero Dawn couldn't even break 25k. Yeah, I don't know, everyone kind of just got bored of Horizon. Honestly, I thought it was weird that people liked it as much. I don't know, that sounds really mean. Yeah, I guess that's mean. And also I didn't play it enough to say to say something like that. It just seemed uh it just didn't seem like sticky or different enough. Which is weird to say because it is pretty. Maybe that was it. It's like a good showpiece for a PlayStation console. Anyway. Yeah, the Helldivers 2 thing is kind of interesting because Dragon's Dogma actually launched ahead of Helldivers. Helldivers took a while to get to 200k. Actually, I wonder if I wonder if Dragon's Dogma got... I wonder if it beat it. Did it beat its peak yesterday? That would be interesting. Oh, well, it's been cruising at about that peak at about 200k. I mean, I'll say this. This player chart doesn't tell me that people are having a terrible time. 
<laughs> yeah, just people, people freaking gaming, man. Just, just got, just out there gaming. Ah, yes. Regarding your pursuer from some days past, as we suspected, he was indeed an agent from Batal. When he learnt of your majesty's escape, he began inquiring after your movements. Tis a glad thing we captured him before matters escalated. As to how he learned your majesty's location with such ease, I intend to extract the answers from him anon. Are there any other games that are expecting to be as good this year? As good as like Dragon's Dogma 2? I shall be sure to inform you when I do. Pray. Take this. Tis the least I can offer for your majesty's assistance. I'm, Metroid Prime 4 is kind of the only thing floating around out there. Maybe Dragon Quest 12? I don't know if that's this year. So the agent was of Batal after all. Tis rather eerie that someone should be sent across the border to spy on you. Hmm. There is much we ought to tend to. If I bear word from Regent Ken Sven, Your Majesty. He espied the delivery of a suspicious package to a man named Allard, a minister who happens to be one of the Queen Regent's staunchest and most powerful allies in the palace. From the pains he took to remain on scene, it is plain that Allard wished this delivery kept away from prying eyes. Hellblade 2 could, could be special. I feel like we still have seen so little of that game. That alone is reason to suspect a connection to Deezer's schemes. We must get to the bottom of it. I'd like to believe in machine games in Indiana Jones. The Regent Kin intends to call Allard to his chambers come nightfall. He bids you to use this opportunity to search the minister's chambers and see if there's aught to be learned. Any Chrono Trigger news? Say you, I don't man. have any for you. Are you I shall ensure that the door to the minister's Apart from me getting a little gnawing time. desire to play Chrono Trigger. Pray. Use that time to infiltrate and uncover order. Yeah, Hades 2? Hades 2. Hades 2. Supergiant has has put up some real Hall of Famers. Let us approach it with all due care. Yeah, Silk Song? Maybe? Let's see. Actually. I wonder, I wonder if I can just, I wonder if I can resolve this. Whoa. I'll just barge it in on a random family. Don't worry. It's Vin. Everyone's, everyone's happy when Vin's around. Okay. What news can you tell us about an upcoming game that you won't have to murder us after you telling? I'm not, I don't know, I'm not really in the know about unreleased stuff, unfortunately. Haha. <laughs> okay. So, I shortcut a quest there a little bit. The, the... Well, I don't, know if I, should, I don't know if I should make that connection for people who haven't done the quest. I won't. I guess, I guess I already did that. I already did it. If anyone else has done this quest, I would like to exchange notes. Because I resolved this quest in a particular way. Oh yeah, EDF6. I, there's no way that that's going to be like a, a traditional game of the year game though. Hey, Game Largo. Yeah, EDF6 should be coming out fairly soon. No, that that's a game I'm looking forward to. I wouldn't say that that's like Game of the Year contender. Um, let's see. Let's do this. Shall we make the Vernworth Palace? Oh, you found him at a bar down by the ocean? That's as far as I've gotten for the beggar? Okay. You might investigate Minister Allard's chambers. Horns are permitted to approach the castle but not walk the grounds. I shall accompany you to the entrance. 
The vanguard is yours. Lead on. Yeah, the Bond game could be good. As the Bond game could be really good. The castle, I will bid you farewell when we reach the entrance. Over here, if you please. I don't know. I'm kind of... Uh, I think it'll be the kind of game where... Well, ho I guess hopefully. Tre the trend is these days that... The best, most surprising games will probably be the ones we you didn't arrived. see coming. Like, they're not branded. It's just an original idea. Have no fear, master. I'll you are the Arisen, yes? The captain gave me your description. Follow me! Something like... I mean, Helldivers kind of came out of nowhere. Finally jumping into Baldur's Gate 3. Any tips? Save often. Save often and uh, be open to rolling with the chaos if something unintended happens. Where are you going? Yeah, Pal World kind of came out of nowhere. There's There just generally seems to be a lot of hunger for new games. A lot of releases early this year have been he way bigger. And maybe that's just because there's not a big brand or a big sequel in the way sucking all the air out of the room, but... Should one of the other guards spy you, I will be forced to play my part. But it's been nice. It's been nice. I don't know if it's just a an incidental gap in a more uh, otherwise branded release calendar, but it's been a really f fun string of string of games. There are times when no one's standing watch there at all. Aye, it happened just yesterday, in fact. Put me in the right state when I saw the door unguided. Still, I suppose there's not much to worry about. It's not as if we let thieves wander around the palace, eh? Too true. Yeah, it's these skinny legs that allow him to stay so nimble. Such quiet. He's sprightly. Light of fleet of foot. Alright. Do you recall that package from Batawa I delivered to Minister's Chambers last week? Well, just between you and me, I blundered and nearly tipped the contents out onto the floor. You should have heard the charge in Allard gave me. I still have my uh Castle intrigue attire on. You think I've killed someone? Versa, thanks for gifting another sub to I Crichton. Appreciate it. Wait, gifted a tier two sub. Spicy. I am sneaking, sneaking in spirit. Yeah, that was a good gift. The accidentally mega tall ones are always fun. It's a good gif if it covers my webcam. That's the rule. Historic account chapter two. And vermin, the one with the power to overcome the dragon, known as the Arisen, is enthroned as sovereign. While in Batal, the protection of the Lambent Flame is held as absolute, believed to prevent the advent of calamity. Curiously, the two nations are at odds regarding pawns, those crossers of the rift. In Vermont, they are deemed... F <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with that. Faithful attendants of the Sovereign. While in Batal, they are viewed as harbingers of misfortune. Ish, ish. It'll be interesting to go to that other country and like, I'm wondering how hard they're going to lean into that. The cultural differences with how they treat pawns. What business could be so pressing that I must be summoned at this late hour? I would not know, my lord. However, 
It must be a highly sensitive matter for the Regent Kin to request a private audience. Oh, perhaps the boy has finally grown wise to the benefits my favor can bring. He might just be his mother's puppet, but at least he knows what's good for him. Oh, it seems like Candle Cam is extinguished. My lord, if someone were to overhear... That candle put in some real work. Unring your hands, you fool. As if anyone in this palace would dare say a word against me. Don't worry, I have two more candles. Now, if Wilhelmina calls... Tell her to await me in my chambers. I will return presently. Hell yeah, all right. Search Charlotte's chambers. You pay a barber to cut your hair, yes. If so, what would be reason reasonable to pay for that service? That's a tough one. Uh, I live in LA. So I feel like, uh, and I get, I don't know. It's kind of an upscale place. I get my hair cut at a spot that is is a uh, speakeasy. So there is a literal bar in the back. It functions. And uh, like the hour I go to get my hair cut is not when the bar is open, but still. Like they'll give you a beer and cut your hair, which is pretty great. Anyway, it's a little bit upscale, a little bit, a little fancy, so. But they cut my hair real good, and I can't complain about that, so, I don't know. Haircuts were one of the th things I used to promise myself, like, never pay more than $20 for a haircut. But then I got better haircuts, so. Uh, as far as what's reasonable, I feel like that's so dependent on, like, not only your vanity level, that's a simple way, but, like, the the culture you're around you know if everyone's just like letting it loose and just being chill and everyone may i don't know if you're like working all day or you wear helmets or hats or whatever maybe it just doesn't matter and then you just need to get your hair cut and that's it or maybe if you're you know in a in a bit of a glitzier line of work and you need you need to look good so people are nice to you <laughs> like you work retail or something like that So anyway, I'm overcomplicating the question, but I think that's actually a pretty uh, circumstantial thing. I shaved my own head in the bathroom, and I look like it. <laughs> I did that through quarantine. It wasn't that bad. Surely none more important than this. I speak of the ascension of the sovereign. Man, I'm just thinking about like going to YouTube and typing in how to cut your own hair. It would just be like single dads and and. Teen, teenage boys. <laughs> Indeed. But that, your grace, would be better discussed in the presence. I had a whole system with like a mirror that I would hold and try to like buzz my head with the other one. But I just got like where I just did it by, by feel, you know. And then I would use a mirror to check. It was actually pretty fast. Been away. I did resolve the quest, right? Yeah. People, you think people can't tell you cut your own hair? You are mistaken. <laughs> General piece of advice. <laughs> Been away. <laughs> yeah. I had, a, I had a cutting my own hair phase in high school, and it was not good. Well, well. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this is where I ran into Wilhelmina the first time. I did this quest first. That's interesting. Meet again. Ah. Is this stealthy business becoming a habit of yours? The dialogue was different. Oi! Who goes there? Who's there? Go in and get the basic bitch fade from a good barber and you will never look back. Tut, tut. Now, this just won't do. Yep. How's a lady supposed to work with all these interruptions? Oh, it is you, lady. Ah, uh, 
Your little 1070. Harry, I'm curious to know how it how it works on that. I'm sure you're gonna have to turn all the goodies off, which always stings. Hoped for slightly more privacy, if you catch my meaning. Apologies, my lady, but may I ask the name of your companion? <laughs> Look at him hiding back there. Such knowledge has been known to cost a man his head. Uh, understood, my lady. If anyone asks, I shall say I saw naught. A narrow escape. You should count yourself lucky that he was so easily flustered. Uh, thank you. Is that all you have to say for yourself? It is sweet of you to mind your manners, but such niceties won't get you far with me. Something tells me this shan't be the last I see of you. Perhaps you'll be good enough to repay me when next we meet. Damn, she's cool. Thank you, Wilhelmina. Wait a minute. Direction, what direction am I going? Okay, yeah, this is how to get out. I'm gonna start saying shant. Instant class. Shant. Okay. Getting around 60 FPS on my 2070 at 1080p. That sounds pretty, uh, pretty reasonable. Yeah, the city's probably gonna chunk you up a little bit. Wait here. <laughs> Stealthy. Damn it, did he turn around? Damn it. I don't know what the stealth in this game is like. I don't know how, how paranoid you have to be. No, they're all they're all chattering at the uh, masquerade. Oh, I'm probably fine then if I'm near the masquerade area. Yeah. Huh. Presume to confound me, do you? What is your purpose here? Okay, looks like the party's wrapping up, actually. What a consequential night. Maybe this is the last time I'll... This is not my intent. It huh? seems you've made a discovery regarding the false sovereign. Aye, what? I have to be honest, I'm kind of ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. Kind of being quieter. And use them when the need arises. Because I'm trying to listen to these these ladies yell at each other in the background. Maybe I should just do one thing at a time. Uh I wonder if he's still there. He is still there. Cool. Maybe I can turn in these quests. Huh. There is much we ought to tend to. If we are to strengthen your majesty's claim. As a true arisen. Those mountains in the background are gorgeous. I know this sigil well. Tis the crest of the neighboring country of Batal. A land with which Vermin has no official dealings at present. Let me see. It reads, True to our word, we offer you the power of the Godsway. Ah. Uh, uh. Pray make haste in securing Melv. Melv. All might be made ready. Era. Tempted to try the new WoW Battle Royale. Amiga Queen, nah. to be certain. Though, <laughs> it is clear that the Queen Regent conspires with Batal. I'm saving all my... Well I'm saving me... Ooh. Okay. My mouth works, I think. Yeah. I'm saving Though all of my MMO juice for Dawn Trail. Much blood has been spilled between Vermont and his neighbor in the past. Speaking of Final Fantasy XIV, does anyone know how it works for Xbox? Do you just get it if you have game? I know you have to have Game Pass to play it, which is dumb. But do you also have to buy it again? You know? 
Because that's how it works on PlayStation, right? You have to buy a copy of it for PlayStation so that you can log into your account. But it's the same account. So I don't know how it works for Xbox. I such a partnership Maybe I should just try it. The drawing of more. At any rate, but the thing is, to see our search has led us to only more questions. Chief among them, Melv. What is meant by securing Melv and this God's way? Melv. Melv. Which game? Uh, Final Fantasy fourteen. I will investigate Melv. these matters as best I can. I guess I could just download it and log in and see what happens. Should you have time to spare, might you make for Melv? Only once this ox caught bound for Melv. Can we begin to thwart it? I love the way that dude says that. My mind. Pray. Take this. Perchance it will help speed you on your way to Melv. Queen Regent Deesa appears to be working in concert with this Phasus fellow. But what precisely is their aim? Their aim is the cart bound for Melv. Mel wow, Hammy Dan. Thanks for the sub. Your subscription carries and all, but you have to buy all the games and expansions. What the heck is that? Alder Irish. Is that not the most banana pants thing you've ever heard? Invited to attend the coronation. Would seem. Congratulations are you have to buy the game and subscribe to two different subscriptions just to play it on Xbox? You will, of course, require raiment befitting of the occasion. I would ask that your majesty return once you've procured such attire. That's... that's goofballs. It should be... You have Game Pass, so you get the expansions. Oh, I was speaking of how it works on it on PlayStation. Okay, my bad. Something written here. You don't need PlayStation Plus, at least on PlayStation. Might reveal aught of interest. Okay. I'll check it out. I'll I'll do a little scouting. A little investigating. Yeah, somebody call up Spencer. Call him up. Oh, do you need base PlayStation Plus? Really? Me thinks this. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen Your Majesty's claim as a true arisen. Or shall change once we have attended the coronation. If Your Majesty has any unfinished business to attend to, it is best you do so before we depart. So yeah, I ended up doing this quest without resolving the um, masquerade quest because I couldn't figure out how to do it. Sounds silly now. That stupid invisible or that stupid or quotes hidden door. But I'm wondering what actually changes. Maybe these are the maybe these are like the story quests that make the uh, vendors get new equipment or something like that. Or maybe it changes the open world somehow, levels it up. <sighs> it's a cool cutscene though. The coronation is to take place on the morrow. We shall depart early in the morn, so your majesty will do well to get a good night's rest. Hey, who hash? Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of dragon's dogma good times in in this stream and in this chat. Oh, oh, master, pray leave this place. My body it refuses to obey me. There is a voice within my mind. It commands me, sways my very will. Sways your will. Could it be that the gods sway? We must quit this place, Your Majesty. I fear our plans may fall to naught. Let us return to the tavern. No coronation. We still get to watch it, though. Who's that? Holy shit! There was like a barbarian babe. Look at her. Oh my. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, 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 no. I didn't see that the first time. The false sovereign commanded the pawns at the coronation, proving his own powers arisen. According to Regent King Sven, 
The pretender was wearing some sort of lavish necklace at the time. I imagine this artifact is the god's way mentioned in that letter. The chance it is a tool that grants power akin to that of the true arisen. It would do much to explain the events that we have beheld afore now. Oh, I'll see you, Peek. Unless have a good evening. Find some way to unmake this God's Way's power. Proving your majesty's legitimacy shall be difficult indeed. Allow me to speak to the agent we captured some days past. Perchance he knows aught of use. Never could I have imagined such an outcome. What manner of artifact is this God's Way? I suppose tis pointless to ponder. Let us await the results of Captain Brandt's investigation. My God, Fat Leon. Is as you say. There is much we ought to... Gonna miss that knucklehead. We ought to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. Pray, allow me time to... Is there aught else you would speak of? Your Do not forget that... Okay, we that's interesting. So I just have to pass time. Uh, did I have any other quests I could actually do? Oh, I guess I can do that. Oh, yeah. I guess I can explore out west. Got a quest to go to Batal, which is pretty far away. And I think I need papers to cross the border, which I don't have. This, however, is, is pretty spicy. Um, all right. So here's, here's what happened before. I had the beggar's garb. Uh, basically, there's a noble pretending to be a... A beggar telling stories. And he, you find where he changes clothes. You find his like beggar's clothing. I gave it to his. Uh, I gave it to his wife. And I guess she confronted him. I think she. I think she attacked him and killed him or something like that. Everyone died basically. It was bad. So I think this time I'm just gonna confront him with it, and maybe I can talk him into becoming a better man or something. What's the combat in this Souls style? The com the combat that you play ends up being pretty reliant on the class that you have chosen. But yeah, I, I would say like that's probably the best point of comparison. It's some of it can feel kind of monster huntery, because it is Capcom after all, but like the specifically the class I'm playing now has like big slow swings because I'm using this giant double-handed sword. But if you play a thief, if you do a bunch of dashing around, you have like a more traditional souls dash. And then uh, you can do a bunch of flips and jumps and things. So it actually has a pretty wide range of play style based on what job or what class you're playing. Oh, damn it, there's one more. Put it on the don't play too hard list then. Don't play too hard. You don't want to pull anything. It's not as it's not as like cheekily punishing as a Souls game. The caveat being if you do run into a dragon, the dragon will fuck you up. I what do you want? Is Albert Albert's the guy, right? Hmm. Yeah, unless it's nighttime, then it's a shit show. That's also true. I don't believe I've had the pleasure, sir. Have we some business I'm unaware of? I don't know what Hilda's deal is. Looking for idle chatter. Look elsewhere. Is, I guess Hilda is his rich wife? He has two families, basically? I think that's what's going on here. You need a permit to enter Batal, but they've become quite difficult to acquire of late, mm. unless you're a merchant. Mm. My rumor has it that the it's rumor. for Bistrons to obtain them. Perhaps because Batal's more of a Bistron nation. That's led to some people acquiring Bistron masks, of all things. Seems a bit much, if you ask me. Come to think of it, I've nary a clue as to where one would go to apply for a permit to begin with. How are things? Oh, you know. Ah, free, free meat. Can I, I wonder if I can cook in my house. Or in the house that weird lady gave to me. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give the clothes back to the guy. 
because maybe he has enough love to give. I'm lost without those garments. Maybe he can love two ladies. Hi. What do you want? And tell tell basic bitch stories all day. What? Where did you get this? No. Never mind that. Listen. Whatever you found out, whatever you think you know, pray. Do not speak of it to anyone. What? Wait, where's it going? Oh. That's it? That's it? He just took off. Well, I guess I get to wait and see how that turns out. Okay. To think this tale could take such a turn. My own master will be keen to hear of what transpired here. Surely not. Pebble, behave. Don't make me hit you with the spray bottle again. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. I'd say we collect as much as we can carry. But I love you, Falion. I love you so much. Well, okay, I guess I have to wait for investigation. Uh, and then there's, yeah, there's the Jadeite Orb, which on a larger scale really just means I take the ox cart west and explore that town. Uh, I think what I'll do, let me, let me go wait for the ox cart. Change my equipment. <laughs> he looks more like just a, a video game character, you know? Welcome. He's just he's just beef man. Beef man in the RPG world five. He's a little bit beefier this time. Uh I'm trying to find the freaking inn. Video games used to be about beef men with big swords. Oh, the lighting at night? Yeah. Yeah. This ladder can take us to new heights. Perhaps yes! New discoveries await us. God, just the shadows getting thrown out of like the, the braziers on the ground and stuff. Yeah. It, it, this game, in my opinion, looks pretty next level. Uh, the ray trace lighting is, is really, really nice. The glow that comes off of like a bunch of light sources. It's... That's why it's just like... I don't know. That's why it's, uh, to me, some, some frame drops, some frame drops in the city are immediately forgivable. Or at least understandable. Maybe forgivable is a strong word. But again, who knows? I, I really can just speak in business for the, the PC sir. experience. I should be glad to assist you. Beefy Beefman. Beef me, Beefman. Where the heck? Oh, it's up here. That's right. I keep forgetting. The layout of the city is actually kind of nice. They put Good. big, bold signs on trust you all the right things you need. <sighs> Odes, despite the hour, much obliged. Yeah, I think I think this game is has got some some real graphical heft, but and it has purpose. All the all the lighting is so moody and really does sell the like the feeling of being outside and questing and things like that. All right. All right. Yeah, let's wait for the ox cart. Oh, I should I should sleep. I should sleep. I'll now sleep. A worthy prize. If only twent so far away. Twent. I do like the I think the way they the way they do it like this with this place to call home quest is they give you this for a while so that you can you can have a quest objective go to the house. Hopefully you remember where it is. That's how I'm doing it. Oh yeah, it's the one with the little bridge. It's the little bridge. Oh yeah, and then people leave Nice notes for you. Forgive me for stopping by unannounced. I was so eager to see you, I neglected to think of your convenience. And, lo and behold, you are out. At least I remembered to bring you a gift in recompense. I shall leave it here. I only hope we will see each other again anon, for I long to hear more of your tales about the world, your life, and your experience. 
Thank you, Sven. He brought me some wine. He wanted to share a bottle of wine with me. I had not encountered your majesty when I did. I fear this nation would have been led down a false path. My gratitude to you and what air power orchestrated our fortuitous meeting knows no bounds. I believe you are more than worthy of this token of my esteem, and I pray it will be of aid to you on the long road ahead. Well, thank you, Brant. You gave me a, a sword and wine. Some homecoming gifts from, from the bros. Feels good. Okay, all right, let's take a little snooze, hop the cart, and then start exploring the, f the, uh, Getting proper rest Forbidden West. Duty in its own right. Hidden West? And Biggin West. I always felt like oh, I was going to go back and play Horizon. Us this day. Off we go, then. A new day, a new perspective. It's interesting that on Feast of Deception it says you awaited his plan of action. It really does imply that maybe there was something else you could have done in the meantime. Ah, maybe we should just wait until nighttime. All right, no, I'm gonna go talk to Bran. Because I'm pretty sure I have to go west anyway for the next part of the story, so I might as well just pick that up so I don't have to go back and forth, you know? I have no issue falling asleep, even at this time of day. Yeah, Pebble's tiny. He can just crawl under the table. The other two pawns just kind of stand and stare outside. Open your eyes, everyone. It is dark out, but our day begins. Step lively. Journey by starlight shall make for a nice change of pace. I hope you slept well. Now to report to Captain Brandt. Just so delightful. All right. We've arrived, just as planned. There is much we ought to tend to. If we are to strength, if the information we pry from the agent is to be believed, there is a place in Batal devoted to the study of arts most queer. I believe it is worthy The queer of arts, you say? Should fortune smile upon us, your majesty may even discover some method of undoing the godsway's hold over the pawns. Yet official dealings twixt Vermund and Batal are suspended. And tis no simple matter to gain passage through the latter's fortress. Fortunately for us, however, the agent was hiding this on his person. I bid you take it. Who's been your favorite pawn so far? Uh, Poison was pretty great. Garfield was pretty top tier. But I have to, I just can't get over Fat Leon. It is Fat Leon. Fat Leon is number one. Tis an entry permit, allowing passage through Batal's fortress. It even bears the crest of the Batali Palace. It must have been commissioned by someone with great influence. I doubt any would dare impede your passage with such an item in your possession. There is one other thing, Your Majesty. With the permit came information I found most intriguing. Just picked up Kanye West, healer. <laughs> An oracle who once served in the Vermondian court now resides in Batal. This oracle foretold the coming of the Arisen <laughs> and was banished from the kingdom when her prophecy displeased the Queen Regent. Indeed, it was by this same oracle's power that the agent in question came to know of your majesty's whereabouts. The oracle knows much of the Arisen. Should you make her acquaintance, she may be able to offer you aid during your infiltration. Oh! I got a port crystal. Noish. There. Pebble is now top tier companion. You have my fullest confidence. The way to Batal should be open to you. When you arrive, yes, you, you got the oracle. What else you would speak of? Do not forget. Okay, Pebble. here we go. So yeah, now I'm about to head out to like the second area, main area of the game, I guess. I wonder how much back and forth there's gonna be. 
Look, master, a treasure chest. We shall have to find a way to reach it. God, he loves it. He loves it. He loves that treasure. Uh, oh, right. Wrong gate. Wrong gate. Let's go over here. Okay, yeah, I think we'll make the, the oxen cart ride. And then I'll I'll transition over. Oh. We'll move the stream over to MediaTek there. Try to keep up. Uh, again, thanks to Capcom for sponsoring today's stream. It's thanks to Capcom sponsorship that I'm not extorting subs out of chat like I usually am on Friday, and we'll just let MediaTek roll until tomorrow's stream, which is also sponsored. I'm a uh, I'm unfamiliar with the matter at hand. Perhaps we should have a more knowledgeable pawn join our party. If you if you live in the U.S., uh, Capcom would like to direct you to the Nexus store, which you can you can uh, get to by using the DD2 command. Uh, that I actually get a commission on sales through that, which is pretty cool. If you're outside of the U.S., and also if you're in the U.S., uh, tomorrow's sponsor which is also for Dragon's Dogma 2, is the key retailer Green Man Gaming, where you can get Dragon's Dogma 2 for 14% off. Uh, and because it's kind of just a whole wash, I hope, of Dragon's Dogma 2 sales, um, hopefully there's no problem with plugging that as well, because they're, they're also sponsoring the stream. And the more people who play Dragon's Dogma 2, the better. Uh, let, me, let me paste a link here. And there, if y'all are interested in, y'all are interested in it. Because, uh, this game rocks and you can get a discount. I'm just trying to remember where the thing was. Is it in here? It is in here. There we go. Booyah. Okay. Sorry about really that. Now. You mustn't shirk your duty. Lest you forget, tis the arisen we serve here. I'm well aware of that. Thank you. Just a couple of links there, in case anyone feels like perusing a purchase or two. My sponsors would certainly appreciate it. I'd appreciate it. You'd be supporting good games. Hashtag sponsored. Consider hiring a pawn better apprised of such matters. I won't. There we go. All right, let's enjoy a nice cart ride. For the checkpoint rest town. I am. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. I kind of want to do one of these ox cart rides in, in in like real time to just see if anything weird happens. I'm wondering if it's like if you just like have some house chores to do, maybe it'd be it'd be weirdly worth it to just let it happen. I know your pawns will like run alongside the cart and pick stuff up the whole way, so it seems like it might be an efficient way to passively grind items if you ever need to do that I saw earlier in chat Silent Ocalypse posted about watching from the cart while griffins attack the townspeople in the fields that sounds fun Vin is sitting so prim. <laughs> Why aren't they allowed in the cart? Because they didn't pay. I paid for me. Passage for one. Sitting on the singular rug on the wooden bench. I haven't even made it out of the city yet. It's so slow. <laughs> A crime committed here will see one confined to jail. 
Thanks. As I understand it, the pay of a jailer is miserable for all their toil. Then we'd best keep some coin on hand to ease our potential warders' suffering and make them an ally to our cause. We've almost rounded the block so that we can properly exit. <sighs> I wonder if like, oh, if you hit doze off, does it actually just pass all the time that it would normally pass to get you there? Or is it actually faster to doze off in terms of in-game time? I guess it doesn't it doesn't fully matter if there's no like global timer for world events or anything. I do wonder if if maybe you're under the gun to get certain places or do certain story events by certain times. I guess they haven't really done anything like that since uh Dead Rising. Yes, the future of gaming is here, but it involves just taking it in. Don't worry, this adventure is going to get a lot more exciting once we get down this short hallway. One realizes just how mountainous this land truly is. The tallest summit calls to me. What's up with the economy in this game? Why does it knighted an in cost 5,000 gold? I guess because you're somewhere pretty far away from the start of the game. I did notice the in prices can vary a lot. The cheaper one's like a thousand. Typical Dragon Quest in prices going up the further away from the first town you get. We've almost made it out of the city. <laughs> oh, God. I hope there's an achievement for like doing an ox cart ride and not sleeping. Getting some good back scratching in though. Oh damn. Phew. Yeah. What's the what's the translation of ox power to horsepower? Come to think of it, we're all of differing vocations, aren't we? One should think we'll be able to counter whatever comes our way. Also, doesn't one horse have like 33 horsepower or something like that? Mutual trust is what counts. You would gather materials here, master. Can we really afford to carry more? Are you starting to mouth off? Does he have the blight or whatever it's called? Dragon blight? There's actually a chart. Fantastic. Fantastic. What do we got here? All right. Would that ox carts were a bit safer and oh. swifter too. An ox is 0.5 horsepower. I'm shocked. But a draft horse is 0.8 horsepower. Okay. Goblins. Douse the flames before it is too late. I'll turn you into a pin cushion. compares to the thrill of victory. One cannot help but feel indomitable. Well, I'm sure there's still room for improvement. What? How the heck do you use a WRL file? 
I lack information pertinent to this task. Consider hiring a pawn better apprised of such matters. There's a lot going on here. Web graphics. Consider the following code. Last, the moment I've been waiting for. Allow me to gather these up. Mm hmm. It's a rectangle, X, Y values. Okay, I'm not sure. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Tiny bit of the capabilities of SVG. It's enough to show the nature of the code of the language. Ooh. So this is like somebody's school project and it's still up for some reason. All right, all right, I'm bored. I can't make it anymore. What? What is that, a tower? Nay, a statue. We ought to take a closer look. Ought we? We're having such a fun Having such a fun stream. Oh, hey candles! Thanks for the raid. We've made it three meters. Yeah, where am I on the map right now? Uh. 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 It's just right there. I have to sleep. I have to. Oh my god. Uh oh. Oh hell. Hopefully it's not big. It's big. It's real big. Don't kill the ox. Okay. You come over here. Keep missing. Missed. Title still says dinner break. Oh, it does. Well, actually, uh, I'll just leave it. I'm about to. We're about to go to Media Tech anyway. So, but thank you for letting me know. Uh oh. Damn, that does so much, so much damage. Yeah, that ogre's taking a dinner break. In hell! Oh, I see a, uh, Seeker's token on top of the... That uh, hut there. I wonder if I can get it. Someone's now. What might that be? I wonder if the those little fireflies indicate something specific. Hmm. Pebble, get up there. Get up there, Pebble. Ah. Avoid flame at any cost. You have been doused in oil. 
I almost got up there. Eh. Ow! I thought that would I thought that would uh extinguish me. Maybe it's because I was I was oiled. Yeah, it's bad. Come on, there we go. Alright. Now I just simply catch back up with the cart. No dawdling. The arisen calls. It's easily done. There we go, no problem. Just immediately. <laughs> it's been a long day. Wait to find out what's inside. Looks so chaotic. It can get that way for sure. Yeah. Fighting, fighting the larger enemies, just getting tossed around. <sighs> well, thanks everybody for watching again. Uh, special thanks to Capcom for not only making the game. Uh, certainly congrats to everybody at Capcom on the launch. It looks terrific. I'm having a great time. I am enchanted by Dragon's Dogma 2, which is why I'll be playing it again tomorrow. Um, again, Capcom would love, love it if you bought the game. I think it's a pretty great, pretty great buy if this is the sort of thing you're into. Um, check out the, uh, the Nexus store, DD2 Command, to go there. Uh, and then also, Dragon, Dragon's Dogma 2 is sponsoring the stream again, courtesy of Green Man Gaming, tomorrow. Uh, and I have a link for that, too. And you can get it at a nice little discount on Green Man Gaming, so it might be worth checking out. Uh, alright, we're gonna... Consarn it. Media tech time. So, uh, courtesy of our fine sponsors, I'm just gonna let this roll. I'm just gonna let it run, let it rock, overnight. I'll be back in, I want to say, maybe 12 to 14 hours with more Dragon's Dogma. Uh, unfortunately, I can't let this roll on YouTube. YouTube's a little more, a little more catty about it. Uh, so, it'll run on Twitch. If you like white noise and weird clips and background video game sounds, MediaTek's pretty good for that. Uh, or some people fall asleep to it. I think it's also pretty good for that. Uh, if I buy this on console, can you benefit from that? I don't think so. Uh, wait, I don't... Somebody was asking that about Xbox, actually. I don't know if Green Man Gaming sells Xbox codes. That would, that would be the ticket, really. Uh, I appreciate the intent behind the question, for sure. Oh, there is an Xbox section. Hmm. Mm. Well, I'll, uh, oh, that's just goes to, maybe they just have PC codes right now. I'll do a little research, but you know, don't necessarily like wait over long on my account. I think just getting the game is, is kind of the whole point, right? Uh, so thanks again for watching, uh, enjoy media tech. I'll be back soon. And, uh, thanks again to the sponsors. All right. Have a good night, everybody. Uh, I'm already looking forward to the next stream because this game rules. All right. See you later. Oh. Line it. I'll take you on a wing. Under your wing. Years of training. Training, training. And then one day. Synchronicity. Synchronicity. The whole lot. You'll be able to be a hardliner. Hardliner. Constantly caring. Caring. Loving. Giving. So, do you think I could be a hotliner? Um, maybe, maybe. I could take you under my wing. It's hard work, though. Uh -huh. You know, we've got a team of experts working round the clock, training us. And you've got to care, because we constantly care. Uh -huh. And you've got to have coordination and synchronicity. You've got to be well-mannered, good with people. Communicative, communicative.
the tension. Introducing George Foreman's Lean Mean Fat Reducing Grilling Machine. Now, in just minutes, you can have delicious grilled food with no mess and without all the fat. The secret is in the design. Unlike regular pan frying or broiling where food sits on a flat surface and cooks in its own fat,